What is up, people? Retro Rewind, first stream. Well, technically it's not, but it kind of is. The first stream since the channel got released. And there's just been a million updates, like an overwhelming amount of new things added and a lot of really cool interface additions. So this is gonna be a really fun stream. I've been looking forward to this for a while. And hopefully, <laughs> salt. Hopefully, we uh, are able to showcase everything today. And I figured we should start with a fun room and just showcase some of these features. So, first off, check this out Team VS. You can customize even who's on each team. And then you have friendly fire enabled. So, that's that's so key like we don't have shocks only hitting one team now we don't have blue shells going for second or third place it plays just like regular mario kart wii it is glorious to say the least and then look at this you can customize the settings right here in the room you can do it on the main weem5 menu you can even do it offline and you can do it right here so here's some of the settings these ones are pretty standard and then I love impossible CPU mode. That is incredible for offline. Transmission, switch, inside drift is the way to go in my opinion. But you can do both. You can also play outside drift carts. Carts have purple main turbo regardless. And then we have, you know, the host settings here. This is where it gets interesting. Host always wins vote, which means we're gonna be skipping the screens, the, the voting screens. It just immediately goes to the next race. I'm sure some of you guys saw that on my most recent video with Retro Rewind, incredible feature, like mind-blowingly amazing. It's gonna save us so much time. We're just gonna do four race GPs for the beginning and keep switching up the formats. And then uh, this is cool, like character restrictions, you can just make it so like everyone has to be on a medium weight or lightweight. Uh, you can even like double up and have it so everyone has to be on a medium weight cart. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And afterwards, we're gonna hop in some worldwides. I will uh, be showcasing some of the offline features as well. There's some cool stuff. And I think we'll just do a regular VS for the beginning. We can try Team VS afterwards. I do want to hop in Worldwides after that and like just get this show on the road. Let's do this. Oh, and then it even lets me pick the first track right here. So we don't even go to the very first screen with everyone's VR and track selection. So we can just pick the track right here before the room starts. The interface upgrades are no joke. Like, oh, look at this. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> we're going Yoshi. We're, we're gonna start off pretty standard here and go from there. So hope you guys enjoy today's stream. Should be a fun one. And if you wanna get Retro Rewind, I put the link in the description for the download. You can play it on emulator, Wii U, or Wii. It works on all three. And it's uh, it's getting new updates all the time. So this, this download link might be outdated in a few hours, honestly, at this rate. I feel like every day there's a new update. And some of the updates are simple. It'll just be like little track bug fixes. And then other ones will add brand new features. So you really never know what's coming. Oh, what a good first track. And look at this, it even displays the author of the custom tracks in the bottom left corner, such a great feature. And we have all middleweights. I see mock bike, mock bike, mock bike. Oh, Mega Thundercloud. And Brody is on the Dolphin Dasher, nice. Anyone on carts? Oh, we got a couple carters, nice. Let's go. But yeah, like, if you haven't played Mario Kart Wii custom tracks in a long time, this is like such a great way to reintegrate yourself into the game. None of the tracks are that difficult. I don't think any of them are more difficult than say like Rainbow Road in base Mario Kart Wii. So there's nothing too scary, nothing where you're gonna get lost or confused. It's all, it's all pretty standard retro tracks 
they mirror how they did in the original game or they mirror like the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe versions of the tracks. Oh, we gotta go for it. Hopefully, no one blocks it here. I think, I think we could probably get this. Let's see. Come on, go, go, go! I think I got it. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, that banana actually screwed me up. We're still in third though, and there's a blue shell. <laughs> Both of them? Or maybe just Brody? Look at Brody front run and taking blue shells on the Dolphin Dasher. What a legend. All right, I mean, shortcut is busted. Like, I have a pretty sizable lead over third. And this race hasn't even gone that well. I'll be careful here. No one takes the top route on this track, like, ever. I think I'm gonna get redded for sure here. Oh, I tried to get behind the barrel. Well, we might have to do shortcut again. Maybe we'll pull a mushroom here. Oh my gosh, are we going to go for it again? We have to. Okay, I got... Oh, yes! I just barely got that. I'm in the off-road, but that was still worth it. And there's not as many, like, cool shortcuts as there are on, like, original design custom tracks, but it's slowly getting there. There's still a lot of really cool shortcuts. I'm actually making a shortcut tutorial for Retro Rewind just to showcase everything. Because there's a lot more than people think, even though there's not as many as like CTGP, for example. Okay, I'm really nervous about his green shell right now. Please, please, please. Okay, he's just holding it. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> and you will notice in this mod, like the races are really close a lot of times. There's a lot of tracks with off-road shortcuts and the simplistic layouts really keep the pack close. And look at first with a five second lead over everyone, 236, not too shabby. And then you look at the middle, like 238 through 242, fourth through 10th place. So it ends up being a really close race despite one of the longer tracks. And then here we could just randomize or we pick the track right here, it's incredible. And then it just goes to the next race. Instead of having to wait like almost two minutes between tracks, you wait like 20 or 30 seconds instead. So you're saving like a minute plus of your life every single race. <laughs> a lot more time playing Mario Kart Wii, a lot less time waiting. It's it's really something else. So look, at, we're already playing the next race. Like, I cannot believe this. This is like the feature I've wanted for the longest time. I've wanted this so long, I can't even put it into words. Like for years and years and years. Oh, I've never seen this version of Rosalina's Ice World. I, I, I seriously, I seriously have never played this. This is like a new, maybe a new texture update, maybe a brand new update entirely. I thought this track was was daytime. It's a whole night texture. It might be the same track. It might just be a texture. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, disastrous. I'm just gonna use this because we, ha we have no speed right now. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're back in it. But yeah, I think like where this mod is really gonna shine is just how much customizability there is. Oh my god, I got knocked off the edge. Are you kidding me right now? Good thing it's lap one. But yeah, for like content creators, for streamers, since there's more and more people streaming like every single day, it feels like, for uh, for even Mario Kart Wii, especially Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but there's, there's so many people streaming and you know, when you're streaming and you wanna race with your viewers, it's fun to have a lot of different options, not be doing the same thing always. So that's one of the best things about Retro Rewind. There's just a million options for what to do, and there's gonna be more and more. There's gonna be more game modes added. I know Blue Shell Showdown is on the horizon, and we'll probably have a knockout mode at some point. I'm just gonna use it now. I'm an eighth. I think this should get me to third, yeah. So not the best bullet. Oh no, it got me into the item. That's actually really solid. This is a really close race right now. We got TKS Memer in first. Oh, oh, I'm so nervous. Please, please. Okay, we're good. We're getting up top. I'm just holding these. It's too nervous to throw in even one of my shield. Look how close this is right now, this is ridiculous. That banana ended me. Oh, I'm done, yeah. Try to salvage a middle spot. 
Sixth? Seventh. Seventh. Yeah. I didn't get the item. Oh my gosh, that race was so intense. Oh. Every race is gonna be like this. Literally every single one. Look at that. Oh my gosh. First through tenth was just five seconds. Wow. All right, we're, we're just gonna keep randomizing. I mean, I like pretty much every track in here, so I don't need to pick the tracks. Let's see here. Let me let me get to some messages. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We already have over 500 people and we've only played two races. I mean, the fact we've already played two races is incredible. The third race coming up right here. We have Tails the Fox, uh, first member donation of the stream, 11 months. Hello, TWD, welcome back to streaming. Our Retro Rewind and CTGP server or host, everything is ran through WeemFi. Like, literally everything for playing this game online. So, you can even play the regular worldwide server, just the regular 32 Nintendo tracks. That's the top option on Retro Rewind, just like it is in CTGP. So, if, you know, this mod's really new, so if there's no one playing, like, custom, uh, you know, the Retro Worldwides, then you can always just hop on the regs and enjoy yourself. But I've seen a lot of rooms for Retro Rewind the last few days. It feels like the mod is really picking up steam when it comes to Worldwides, which is incredible. Like there's more and more people playing Retro Worldwides every single day. All right, ooh. I think that's the target shock. Yeah, we're gonna be in first now. Oh, look at this breakaway. Interesting, I'm noticing there's like a uh, like a white flashlight on Yoshi on the minimap instead of a yellow one like usual. This game also has slight differences to the user interface. It's more of like a silver theme instead of like a gold theme around all of the outlines of the options for like friend, worldwide, etc. It's got a little bit of a different like custom look to it. That shortcut is actually not free. It's really easy to, to mess that one up. Gotta make sure you get like an up trick. You gotta get an early trick. If you get a delayed trick, very easy to fall off there. Especially not using a high speed combo. I'm gonna throw this back here. It's a pretty good spot. Oh, he dodged it. It's kind of a two horse race right now. Like we've completely broken away from everyone. I tried to get the trick, missed the trick. Gotta hope for no blue shells. Still got a lot of race to go here. And this shortcut is a lot easier than the old version of the track on CTGP. And then this one right here is a little harder. That's what I'm talking about. Angle was slightly off, and there goes my lead. And look at, we both failed it. I'm still in first. It's gonna be very close now. <laughs> I can't believe we both failed it. But yeah, you have to have the right angle, and I actually think that what I did wrong is just like releasing that main turbo a little bit early. Oh! I think I think I got this. Yeah, he's gonna have no item. I think I'm good. And he's not gonna get big until I finish, so we end up getting first. But yeah, I actually like how that shortcut has a degree of difficulty to it. It's also really easy to block that shortcut too, and then uh, force people to go around, so. It's a, it's a really good version of the track. Also, visually, it's super satisfying. It looks just like it did in the GBA. Very uh, simplistic, bright colors, and I, I love it. Okay, let's see here. So we did three races, and I have a one-point lead, 30, 29, 29. Okay, let's see how this all shakes out on the last race, and then we'll, we'll change the theme again. In fact, I would love to get some, like, recommendations from the chat on what you guys want to see, you can customize things like what CC, Team VS or regular VS, what weight class, uh, carts or bikes, like there's quite a few things to customize. You can even do like themed rooms with the tracks, you know, like like we did the Bowser Castle only event the other day that we recorded. Oh, this is a good one, okay. You can actually trick off this, which is incredible. It saves a lot of time. Oh, side redded. All right, well, oh, it goes over there. I do not know Bullet Bill 
routes on custom tracks at all. I figured it would go down the middle. I always just assume it goes down the middle, but it's not always the case. I'll probably pull the bullet now. Oh, even better. Let's go. Home Depot's back here. Oh, oh, I wasn't even looking. I didn't expect that. I was looking to the right. All right, maybe I'll get the shock. Mm, no shock, unfortunate. I mean, last might use shock here. If they do, it's fine. I definitely don't want to use the bullet here. It will last like three seconds. Try to run it up a little bit more. I'll just use it now. Yeah, this is an amazing bullet. Oh, almost, almost perfect. Almost got me an item. Now I'm kind of screwed. I'm just sandwiched between a bunch of people with red shells. It might be okay though. Oh, these guys move fast in this version. Wow, okay. Look at Jake Tendo here. Day tripping. I'm gonna get redded. Oh, I just hit so much off road. Well, this one's pretty over. Let's see what we get on the last item. That's all right. All right, I finished sixth, so I get six points for that. I'll probably finish third overall. Let's see where the points are at. And the person with no name, who I have no clue who they are, ended up winning, and TKS Memer got second. Crazy, crazy race. Definitely need some practice on that track. I cannot believe how fast those shy guys move. They're booking it. All right, we got some professional ice skaters on the race course. What should we do next? We'll, we'll do lightweights. But we'll do we'll do lightweights and carts. You guys can see the full effect of the mini beast. It is completely busted on certain tracks where you have a lot of room where you can traverse through the track and just chain those purple meter rows together and essentially PRB. It is incredible. Okay, so we go here, we change it to carts. We'll we'll keep it 150 cc. And oh, should we turn on team VS? I mean, we got 12 players. Yeah, let's do it. I don't have to customize the teams. We'll just. We'll just let it roll. We'll see, we'll see what we get. It's gonna be so good. Okay, this looks so funny to me seeing all these question marks. It's like we don't have any, we don't even have Mario unlocked. That's what it looks like. You guys already know what character we are using. Some things never change. All right, let's see here. Does it like not even show the recent, I, f I feel like I'm missing some of the donations. I don't even see Tails' donation anymore. Oh, here we go, okay, I see it. Just had to scroll down. Kiwi MK7, thank you for the five pound donation. And they said Pog. Pog indeed, thank you so much Kiwi. That was the first donation of the stream actually. Sorry I missed it earlier. We have Magnificent Kirby, 24th, a five dollar donation. Hey Troy, wanted to say thank you for giving me the Sega Genesis remix of 3DS Rainbow Road. The original creator didn't have the remix anymore. No problem. We got custom music on every single course for Rush Rewind, which is incredible. Oh, this is gonna be a tough track. I don't know if I ever played this one with the inside driven car. I think it's gonna be very difficult. But the boost lasts extremely long. If you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat. Hopefully we can get some purples here. I'd probably get one right. Oh, so much for that. I'm just getting Mario carded right now. I love that for myself. Okay, the player with no name who won the last GP is using the Blue Falcon, which is kind of awesome. So major respect. I love seeing people use the low tiers. Oh, 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 that's not gonna work. All right, yeah, these corners are gonna be tough. Make it work, though. I'm just gonna burn this goal. I don't even want it. Okay, we got a purple there, and you can see how long the purple boost lasts. It lasts forever. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> And one advantage the carts have is just when you get in first place and you're snaking, chaining the major bus together, it is such a treat to be able to wheelie bump the bikes. Obviously you won't see that in this room, but 
it is one advantage to have. And the carts are no longer significantly worse than bikes like prior. Oh, we got a little bit of lag there. Interesting. I'm gonna try to... Oh, I think I only got a blue main turbo. That was kind of a fail. It's only a two lap track, so we're actually getting down to it right now. Gotta make a push pretty soon. I think it's best if I get the purple here. Try to chain another purple. I just can't chain the purples! So close right there, that would've been it. We are gonna get the item though. And the mushroom? Oh no, reset game took it. I'm gonna chuck this. I don't wanna trick there, I think I would've been screwed. We can't even make this corner at all. Sorry Brody, feel bad for that one, not gonna lie. We're actually in a pretty good spot. Go, 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 go! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, that was so stressful. I thought I was gonna get hit. Just squeaked out second place. Everyone was behind me. If that green hit me, I was getting 11th. Like, no joke. That plays pretty well, I'm impressed. I thought that these corners would be impossible to make. I think there was only one corner we had trouble on, so we'll take it. <laughs> this this me right here reminds me of the TWD salt shaker meme from Road to 9999. That's definitely the inspiration. Oh, this is a problem that I've had on Retro Rewind. I, I go to click A to get to the next screen, but then it just picks the track for me because there's no, uh, I have fast menus on, so it just, it just all of a sudden in one frame will go to the next screen and then I click A to go to the voting screen and instead I accidentally pick the track and now we're playing it again. This is something I've had an issue with with Retro Rewind. Because um, I like to have fast menus on, it's like such an amazing feature, but then like that happens and then now we're just stuck playing the same track. So I hope that gets fixed. Otherwise, I just have to turn fast menus off, which is unfortunate because they're such an amazing feature. Oh, yeah. I think they're winning this race. That's going to be a pop-off. They're going to get to do a bunch of off-road cuts. But yeah, I have to be so careful on the voting screens. I wish the, the first feature too was random. It, it, it toggles over the very first, the track that you just played, it should toggle over random. So on an accident, like if, if you accidentally spam and then you pick the track, like the wrong track, it should just not be the same track you just played. Like that feels like a, a oversight. All right, I mean, we take those. <laughs> I might have a star in first. <laughs> yes. Gotta give props to whoever made this track. I didn't see who it was, but... This is quite nice. But uh, that last corner would be impossible to make if it wasn't like a, a ricochet corner. I don't know what it's called, but... You just fly off of it? It's... It's not a wall at all. You just get redirected in the correct direction. It, it's incredible. You do not want to hit the off-road with this thing. You will lose your main turbo. But we're going to be able to chain two purple main turbos. That feels good. We finally got to chain them together. And we'll chain a blue on top of that. And now our purple boost will run out. But you guys got to see like 10 seconds of boosting at... Uh, I believe it's like 106 kmh. It's, it's a massive bonus. Okay, we got screwed there. That was a really good pal. Nothing we can do. We have a little bit of a lead still. Like four seconds, so if we get blued, it's going to be really close. Oh, I'm, I'm target. I made it, but it counted me out of bounds. Alright. Should be fine, though. I have like a very small lead now. See how long that boost lasted? Ridiculous. Okay, I have to be so careful on these menus. In fact, I'm not gonna even press A. I'm not gonna even risk it. I'm just gonna let it like do its thing. So I click A, 
And then we're up by two. I can click, okay, there we go. You have very little time to select the tracks also. The menus happen so fast. Hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. I think I might turn off fast menus next GP because it's just, it's so easy to accidentally pick the same track on this mod. Okay, uh, we were on, let's see. Patty R-I-X with the $5 donation. Hey Troy, so happy to see you streaming again. Love the fresh content. Looking forward to these races with you. Thank you so much. And then Patty says that they are salt. And then hashtag road to 500K subs. We're really getting there now. I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're getting close. It's gonna happen in the next couple months, it looks like. 492,000. I, I cannot believe it, seriously, guys. So thank you so much. I mean, we're, we're gonna get there maybe by my birthday if, if we really start streaming a lot. I mean, if you haven't subscribed, you're watching the stream, be sure to subscribe. There's plenty more Retro Rewind streams coming your way, as you guys could have imagined by the title of the stream, day one, because there's just endless content and there's just so much being added. I know we're never gonna run out of things to do on here. And I really want to promote this mod. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to hit the wall. Yeah. Oh, I still have to leave. Let's go. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay, we have to... Re learning the hard way with these carding lines here. So th these these uh, these ramps, they shoot you way further than you would expect. I, I can't even think of another ramp in the game that functions like this. They're, they're super sketchy. So you can shoot into the, the abyss just like that. Trying to trying to commentate about things unrelated to the race is pretty much the most impossible thing to do in this game. This is the most chaotic video game ever. The Mario Kart franchise is is no joke. I'm I'm yeah I'm done. Luckily, there's a little bit of time. We are not tricking off that ramp again. We learned the hard way. We're just gonna end up in the hole. Terrible item. This one's pretty much over. I could still get like 7th or something though. There's only one more corner to go. Let's see if we can get 7th. Oh, they went for me at the end. And we got 8th place. Alright, let's see where the standings are after this. I have to be really careful not to accidentally pick the same track, so... Oh, blue team top 3! Oh, we're set. We have a 21 point lead. Yeah, see... If it just started on random... Instead of the same track you just played, it would, it would, or uh, you know what it is? It's the same cup you just played, not the same track. That's what it is. Okay, we're figuring out the interface slowly. The interface has changed so much in the last like month or two. Still getting used to it. Uh, but yeah, Patty, thank you so much. And yeah, road to 500k. We're gonna get there. It's it's gonna happen sooner rather than later. I also think that when people see you're like super close to a uh, subscriber goal, like they're more inclined to sub, they want to be part of it, you know, so it'll probably ramp up in the next month or two. And we're gonna we're gonna get there. Also I'm planning on mostly playing Mario Kart Wii on the channel this year. I know I did a lot of 8 Deluxe last year. But I mean there's no more DLC for 8 Deluxe. And that means more Mario Kart Wii for you guys. And I'm sure most of the people watching are gonna be happy to hear that. This is like the game we built the channel on. Like 90% of my videos are Mario Kart Wii. And I'd say like 90% of the people that subscribe, subscribe for Mario Kart Wii. One thing though is I'm hoping to get some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe players to try this mod. I feel like that is the audience that this mod can appeal to the most. Like, this is essentially Booster Course Pass for Mario Kart Wii. It's Mario Kart Wii Deluxe Booster Course Pass ZPL Edition. <laughs> uh, this has been a weird one. Nothing's happening this race. We're gonna get the purple here, and you can really see the power of it. The purple power is real. And we'll chain a blue to the purple, and our boost finally ran out. Blue team's got this. If I get first, we're definitely not losing. Oh! We're good. <laughs> we're good, we're good. <sighs> Incredible track. This one's been around forever. 
I'm actually the staff ghost on this track on CTGP. And for Retro Rewind, I'm the staff ghost on Shy Guy Bazaar. I made it as difficult as I could. And I've actually learned a couple new strats since I made the ghost. So I might try to improve it by half a second or a second or so. So I might make the staff ghost even harder, but definitely check it out. In fact, after this GP, I'm going, or actually this is the end right here. I'm gonna show you guys something really cool about the interface on Retro Rewind on just offline. So pretty close GP and blue team ends up winning. Look how cool this is. Automated scores, you can customize the teams, friendly fire enabled like, it's just a clan war. It's an automated clan war. Like, it, 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 this is just like mind-blowingly cool. I, I can't believe it. It, it just, everything looks so good on this mod. All right, let me show you guys something that a lot of time trialers will really be excited about. So first of all, uh, settings button. This is regular Weemfy Worldwide's, Retro Worldwide's settings, the same ones I showed at the beginning of the stream. And and go offline for a second and then show you guys. Oh, here we go. This is so cool. Version created March 5th, 2024. Absolutely incredible how it shows that because if like, let's say someone can't get a room and people can't figure out why, they can just check what version they're on and be like, oh, are we on the same version? Oh, we're not on the same version. Okay, one of us has to update our uh, Retro Rewind. Uh, 150cc, 200cc TTs, but anyway, for Grand Prix mode, like, make sure that you have impossible CPUs enabled. It's a, it's a true challenge. There's actually 500cc as an option for playing <laughs> both VS and Grand Prix, so I recommend trying that out. And then uh, there's gonna be trophy ranks for each cup added soon. Uh, I think currently they only work for the first eight cups, but that's gonna be fixed in the future. And then here's what I wanted to show you guys. So there's 136 staff ghosts. And let me just like get rid of my webcam real quick. As you can see, there's a gold trophy. And if you defeat the staff ghost, then you get a gold trophy and you play to try to get 136 of them. And I don't think currently there's any reward for doing so, but I'm sure ZPL is gonna add something because there's just updates happening all the time. And that would be a like tremendous goal to try to achieve. Not quite the level of the CTGP one. There's 218 of those, but 136 Retro Rewind staff goes to try to defeat. I can show you guys mine real quick. This is mine, and it has the little Rewind logo, just like it used to say Nintendo on base game. There's my ghost. And then something that's also really cool, this feature that was added, the ghost replay. It's not actually a ghost. It looks exactly the same as if you were driving currently. Like you can't even tell the difference whether you're playing or you're watching. It's the same interface. It looks really good. And yeah, so I've, I've learned quite a bit about this track. I want to showcase the shortcut real quick. Oh, I did not do that well on lap one. Oh, wait till you see the later laps. That, that was actually a big time loss. But anyway, such a cool shortcut. You can even do it with a cart, which is awesome. And this this mod, you know, one of the main reasons I'm making the shortcut montage is to showcase some of these expert shortcuts that are a little hidden. They're shortcuts that aren't even in the original versions of these tracks. Like uh, that shortcut does not exist on Shy Guy Bazaar and Mario Kart 7. Instead, there's a respawn glitch in the same location. Not nearly as cool as this though. This rail ride plus this off-road shortcut, it's, it's so fun. And then you want to see, you want to get that wheelie out to get the slip drift going into the corner. Super satisfying. Lap three is the best. My lap one was definitely the worst. And this is a nice low trick. You can easily fall off there. You got to be careful. And oh, got high air there. But yeah, such a fun one. I probably will do more staff ghosts in the future. It was actually really fun to make this ghost. And Nick also made a staff ghost. I think it was Maple Treeway. He's gonna be making quite a few more. He has like a list of tracks he's making staff goes for, which is super exciting. Garrett Nelson, thank you for the $10. Troy, you were goaded. Also, it'd be cool if you could make a tutorial on how to get Retro Rewind on Dolphin. I can't figure it out. Yeah, um, I could do my best on that. I had a lot of help. I'm not the most tech savvy person. I had a lot of help with Dolphin, like getting it all figured out at the beginning. Arc Intel helped me with everything, so. 
I might be able to to make a uh, you know to make a tutorial, but I think I would be able to make a much better tutorial on how to get retro rewind on a Wii or a Wii U because that's how I play primarily. But anyway, good luck being the staff ghost. You guys are gonna be in for a struggle getting that shortcut three times. It is not a free shortcut by any means. Definitely requires some getting used to. And my biggest piece of advice is when you land on the rail, make sure to do a hard right drift immediately. Don't like slip drift onto the rail. Like you land and then you hop and then hard right. And that's the easiest way to stand on, uh, stay on the rail when you're using a bike. So good luck guys. Wish you the best. Let's hop back online and I'll open another room. Let, let's do some more. Let's do some more rooms before we end up going to Worldwide's. Uh, for Worldwide's, you still have to, you know, wait through the whole voting screens, and they're pretty much the same as any other distribution in the amount of time they take between races. But the real treat is playing the fun rooms, as you as you saw. Like it works incredible. I'll probably do more Team VS too. Let's see. Uh, let's open a room. We'll do we'll do another regular VS and then go to Team VS. But yeah, let's see. The only thing with Dolphin, if you're playing this on Dolphin, you're gonna have to update it like semi-frequently. For playing it on console, you just go to the channel, click update, and you're good to go, and it automates everything for you, just like CTGP. But for, for Dolphin, you're gonna have to like download the files and re-extract them every single time there's some sort of major update. So that's something to keep in mind if you're playing on Dolphin. Pixel Craft Craftian with the two pound donation. Good to catch one of these live awesome stuff. Thank you, Pixel. Uh, appreciate it. And Pixel has the check mark. Let's go. You know, um, we're gonna be doing day two probably, oh, probably Sunday or Monday. It's it's gonna be less than a week. I wanna at least do one of these every single week. Because, I mean, we got to showcase all the new features. Like, I'm already behind on showcasing everything. This is like a big catch-up stream for me with showing all the new Retro Rewind stuff. It's it's just, like I said, there's just a new thing every single week. The Retro Rewind channel doesn't work for me, unfortunately. Reckly, I wonder I wonder what you mean by that. Like, like it doesn't even boot, or like when you're on the channel, it doesn't launch the game, or, or the updater doesn't work. I'm not sure. Okay, hang on. Let's let's mix it up again. Let's do well. If we do heavyweight only, we know what people are gonna pick. <laughs> let's you know we'll, we'll actually allow people to use what they want this time. Okay, we'll we'll do that, and we'll we'll do just a standard GP here. We'll do 200 CC next. Okay, let's just do regular VS, full room already. Oh my gosh. Randomized track. We don't care what we play. I cannot believe how fast that filled the room. Let's let's do a try hard GP here. Let's go. For some people, the updater doesn't work. Interesting, Shane. You know, I never had any issues with the updater. Sometimes it took a little long to update, but it's always worked for me. I'm honestly like, I I, I didn't want to make like videos on it right when it first came out because I was afraid it'd be buggy, might have some glitches. You guys saw what happened on Maple Treeway, but now I feel like things are stabilized. I haven't had any issues with the mod in the last couple weeks. That's why I was like, it's definitely time to start streaming it. We got Mori with the $2. Hey Troy, love your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Mori. Appreciate the support, guys. I feel the love today. I know it's been a while since I streamed. I definitely don't want to go that long again. I, I was like literally three months or something, so. It's, it feels good to be back. All right. Uh, yeah, the item box. Oh, oh. How did I get a box in 11? How did nobody take that box? Oh. I'm not using it until at least 30 seconds. I predicted that perfectly. Unbelievable. Ser seriously. I think we're gonna run away with this one. It's such a simple track, I mean, unless there's a blue shell, but... <laughs> we're actually laughing someone. Poor Home Depot. On a low tier right now. 
Hopefully I don't get bulleted and being at lap ahead right now. <laughs> Gotta be a little cautious. <laughs> I tried to snipe the Bowser a lap behind. BAM! <laughs> I love it that the chat just lit up BAMs. Let's go. It always feels sweet to hold your dodge item and dodge. Like that was that was a tough one because I was like, okay, this is a short track. People are gonna use the shock right when they get it. They're not gonna hold it for long. There's only a six, seven seconds between item boxes. I was like, holding it any longer than past like 30 was risky. So really happy that worked out. Oh my gosh, what an incredible first race to the GP here. Jigsaw Flex 21 months. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jigsaw Flex, always joining the rooms, has an amazing stream and YouTube channel. Be sure to check him out. Does Mario Kart Wii on the reg, which I mean, we need more Mario Kart Wii content creators. So incredible to have you in the community, Jigsaw. And he says, loving Retro Rewind so far. Definitely can see myself playing this distri distribution more than CTGP, especially since the carts are buffed. Yeah, I, I feel like that's one thing that's really cool about it is ZPL, he didn't change the stats for anything. Like the carts are still the exact same as they were in vanilla game. However, you know, they, they have purple nature bows and they have inside drift. Oh, that was horrible. I did not go off that as expected. I don't know how I'm still in first right now. This is a mock bike track. However, I don't know if there's any mock bikes in the room. Gonna back the screen here. Oh, I might get punished here. Could easily be a red shell, it's a long straightaway. I have a breakaway. I'm very surprised. I bonked on lap one, too. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. I don't know what happened on lap one. Let's get the main turbo. Wheelie. This track is kind of a disaster of a track. Like, I, I cannot believe this even made it in the game. It is such a ridiculous course. It's a lot better designed in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I must say. However, I've played this one so much that I just know how to traverse all of its awkwardness and bumpiness. Oh! My green shell that got shocked out of me ended up connecting on the red shell. <laughs> I got so lucky right there. I was supposed to get comboed. And Ryumi is behind me. Ryumi is the player without a name. Mario Kart We Limitless creator and gonna give me a run for my money here it's gonna be close it's gonna cancel my wheelie in midair get the main turbo get the wheelie get the slip and hopefully not hit this boulder that's fine I think I'm gonna get second now but we'll take second wait wait Oh, oh, something happened to him. We're actually gonna end up winning this. Let's go, let's go. All right, what a start. I'm on 30 right now. That was a really good DK Mountain. A short cat and TWD 98 collab will be perfect. Well, you guys are in for a treat. How about two collabs? I'm spoiling things. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Ryumi got second. TKS Mimer got third. We have a lot of the same people from last time. A couple new people though. Let's see. Noodles in here. Atomic. Let's go. Randomize. Sometimes base game tracks will show up. I, I love the original 32 Nintendo tracks. So never, never upset to see them. Matthew Jenkins, brand new member. Thank you, Matthew Jenkins. Wel welcome to the Bodation Nation. Haven't said that in a while. And, you know, I appreciate everyone who uses their membership on me today. We're gonna be making it worth your while. Like, one thing that's so nice about YouTube is the streams, they save as VODs. So you're able to watch the streams 
afterwards just on the YouTube page and they're very easy to find. In fact, like YouTube does a pretty good job of even recommending streams to people on the homepage. I think it does a lot better job than Twitch with just like promoting bots. So it actually makes it like feel like, okay, when I stream and it, you know, by the time the stream's over, it's, it's not like all that footage is just gonna be lost into oblivion. Like I used to always turn my streams on Twitch into YouTube videos, just like edit them down. But on YouTube, it's like, I don't even have to do that. People could just find the stream bot and easily skip through the video and find the races. And I mean, especially when we're playing Retro Rewind, there's so little time between races, people don't even really have to do that. It's just constant Mario Kart. I'm gonna try to back in here. Oh. Also, this is one of my favorite like tracks of all time. This Bowser's Castle is so well made. It's a little bit overscaled. We dodged it. But it doesn't like make the track bad or anything. Like it does make the track really fun on 200 CC because it plays so well. But yeah, it's one of the longest tracks in the entire mod. I think it's like three and a half minutes or something. A little bit wide there. I, I'm really nervous he's gonna try to snipe me. There's a blue shell. I'm just gonna break. I'm gonna try to give him the explosion here. Unsuccessful. Some drift tricks. Delay trick. Make sure I get that last trick off the moving platform. The moving platform of death. And. He's got a pretty big breakaway. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to catch him. If there's a blue shell, though, I can combo him potentially. We're getting the item. Okay, we know he has nothing now. Definitely a front run track. He's not gonna have anything to dodge this. Okay, I'm going wide, I'm going really wide. I'm so surprised he dodged that. Okay, Memer takes over first. Something a lot of people don't know is you can actually do the ending shortcut where you dive off the edge. It shaves quite a bit of time, like half a second or something. You can actually do it trimless with the Flame Runner. Granted, I'm not going for it in first. It, it's a great shortcut to go for if you're in second place and you want to risk it all and try to pass first at the end, but it's definitely not free by any means. It's it's free sh uh, with the mushroom, but shroomless, you're definitely risking it a little bit. It'll be interesting to see if he goes for cut. Oh, he did cut. See, I should have went for it. I mean, if, if you fail it though, you lose a lot. So yeah, that, that's such a cool shortcut. It's the same shortcut in Mario Kart DS. And I was always curious if Nintendo like intended that because they put a hole in the wall and then you jump through that hole to hit the post to look at look at how close that was. Oh my gosh, squeaked out the win there. TKS Mimer stopped the perfect GP, RIP. But yeah, I always wonder if that shortcut was intentional. I used to wonder if like the DK Summit double shortcut was intentional and I do feel like it, it was considering how they added an 8 Deluxe so obviously. Let's see here. How far ahead do you record videos before you post them? Sometimes it's literally one day, sometimes it's three weeks. It, it's different every single time. I would say the collabs take longer because you gotta like have both people ready to post the video and they usually take longer to edit, but oh, I didn't get the item, whoops. I'm gonna go for a shroomless. Oh, I failed it. I landed so wide on my back wheel and I didn't get the angle. You gotta be careful not to hit the wall. It's definitely an easy shortcut to fail, but this is only three laps, so I'm definitely not winning this one. That's the only shortcut on the level, too. That fire pillar scared me before I went off. Almost took me out. Ooh. Good item. I'm gonna break. Ah, oh, too late. Don't know why he threw two of them. I just bounced so much going for that. I landed. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm gonna literally get lapped this race. 
Are you kidding? But yeah, I shouldn't have gone for that. Like, right when it made me big, I bounced like three times and lost all my speed. I do want to get it, though, for you guys, to show you guys the shortcut. A lot of people don't know about that one. Well, I'm not getting the bullet. I think... Okay, I think I'll just go for it here with a mushroom. Yeah, there we go. That is actually really good. <laughs> I don't know how I got six this race. I was in last the entire time, let's go. I might have, I don't think I won the GP, I probably got second. Let's see how the results ended up. Yeah, ended up losing that one, but that's okay. Second place, Oh, just failing the streamless shortcut. But you know me, I have to go for the shortcuts, even if it's not the smartest decision, I can't help myself. And the comments really appreciate it. I've always, I've always seen that, that people love that I go for it and you know, it makes the videos more entertaining, even if I fail it. We got Sam Cario with the $2 donation. The GOAT is back. More exciting streams are coming. Yes, Sam, thank you so much for joining the stream. Hope you enjoy more coming your guys' way. We're going to Worldwides in a bit. What should we do this time? 200 CC? Yeah, let's, let's mix it up. Let's do 200 CC and let's force everyone on Let's let's see. Let's see how people do on the flame runner on 200 CC. Let's let's mix it up. We'll do we'll just do regular VS again. And the reason I have it set to only four race GPs is because I well, let's go King Boo. Because just in case there's disconnections, I don't want it to be like we're playing like eight races with only seven players or something. So far, it's working really well. We're not having like any disconnections at all. Don't want to jinx it though. We got brand new member, Aether. Thank you so much to Aether. So many new members today. We had Matthew, Jigsaw Flex, Stagecoach, and then uh, let's see, Kiwi, thank you. And then we have another new member, Pi2Z. Thank you for the new membership. I'm getting to these a bit late, guys. This is like 30 minutes ago. And uh, just like always, reading donations late, some things never change. Uh, we have Magnificent Kirby 24 also from earlier. We have Miba with the $20, uh, I think that's Swedish Crone. I'm, I'm not sure, S-E-K. But I'll read the message after this race. This is a great 200cc track. I feel like this one was made for 200cc, more than 150 almost. That is devastating. Balls Dags is here. Let's go. I don't think we can catch Balls Dags. He is a menace on the race course. The greatest player of all time. Oh, that was a really lucky shot. But I somehow like went over the trick ramp and didn't get the trick, even though I pressed it eight times. Actually, really close now. Oh. Oh, he messed up. Wow, I'm actually gonna win this. Unbelievable. I had like a five plus second time loss hitting that one banana because I didn't get my main turbo. I like shot into the wall and I still got first. And on 200cc, like, time losses like that are way worse than on 150. Like, you lose five seconds on 200. It's more like losing seven or eight seconds. All right, let's see the results here. Balls Dags still getting second place. Let's go. The legend.
Sweden uses Koruna as their currency. 20 Swedish Koruna. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Miba, as well. Appreciate it. And Miba says, Hey there, Troy. Been watching you forever, LMAO. Yeah, I know. I've been doing this for forever, haven't I? <laughs> been making Mario Kart videos for not quite half my life, but we're getting there at this point. Kind of insane to think about. A little scary. But here we are. Next race, Toad's Factory. There's actually a really crazy box clip shortcut on this on 200cc. You can cut way more than the 150cc version. You clip off the box and you land right here. I think it just got discovered. Uh, Arthur did it on time trials. I just bounced so much. What even was that? I think I landed too close to the boost panel. Like, how do you not make the shortcut on 200cc? It's so free. It's weird. Definitely rusty on 200cc. I can already feel it. We're getting last this race, confirmed. I need the bullet bill. That's the only thing it's gonna bring. Oh, that's pretty good too. I'm using it. It's been so long, I feel like, since I've even attempted the shortcut. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, shouldn't have gone for that. Let's go for the regular shortcut. See, it's completely easy and free. Don't wanna get starred, but I also wanna have a chance to dodge. Go, go, go. Are you kidding me? Oh. Wow, second. That's fine, that's that's totally fine. When it left me in the dirt, I was like, it's over. I'm getting 10. Yeah, that was still really good. <laughs> like, 10 second time loss, lap one. Pretty much in last by miles, and I still get second. You can make comebacks on 200cc. You just need to get the shock and the bullet. That's all you need. Shock in the bullet. I threw first so hard. Noodle shelf, we're playing 200cc with the flame runner. So there's gonna be a lot of a lot of throwing. This is an extremely difficult vehicle to play 200 on. It's twice as hard as the mock bike and the bullet bike. You have to brake drift all the time. You can't even make most of the corners. For those of you who are watching and have not tried 200cc flame runner, practice on tracks like this one because if you're playing Toad's Factory, you're gonna be bonking a lot. This one though, you could play 99999cc and not hit the walls. It's the simplest track ever made in Mario Kart history. Even simpler than the very first track ever. Also, drafting doesn't do anything on 200cc. So even though he drafted me, it does not matter. Oh. Okay. I didn't expect him to have bananas in second. Yeah, it's almost over just like that. Wow. Let's get pull. Kind of worried about the reds. This is really bad. I'm just stuck. Gonna make a push now, I guess. Second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know it was kind of questionable to just hold the mushroom, but I was like, there's barely any track left. There's almost nothing I can get that would help me more. It's just, might as well just hold it and use it around the corner there. All right. Wow, I have an 11 point lead this time. Very surprising. It has not been the best UP, but we'll take it. Let's see what we get for the last track. Jammo with the $5 TWD and Floundering Fish collab again when the hard hitting questions coming out. Let's go. Also, how are you almost 30 time flies? I know it's scary and time only goes faster when you get older. Uh, Jammo, the great, great question. I have an answer that you'll be very pleased about. Flounderfest is returning very soon. It's returning this month. It's returning this month, and the first episode is gonna be over an hour. I don't wanna say anything else. We'll keep it at that. 
I might premiere the first episode instead of just uploading it as a regular video. I feel like it'd be cool to have like a little watch party. And I've done a few premieres in the past and they've went really well. People have enjoyed them, so I'll definitely consider it. One thing about 200cc, guys, is backspamming back is completely busted. Like, ba backspamming is so much easier. You don't even have to put your items in good spots, and you'll hit people. Just because if people are even looking back for two seconds to try to evade something behind them, they're not going to see what's in front of them. They have no time. This track plays really well on 200. Also, the grass texture looks different than CTGP, I think. Might be wrong on that. It, lo it looks slightly different to me. There it is. And really important, a lot of you won't know this, if you're getting blue shelled or you get bombed while you're playing on 200cc, press up. If you press up, you will fastball and it works for even getting hit by items not only when you're going off ramps and wanting to land faster. Definitely feel a little bit bad about that one. Ryumi 100% deserved to win that. Like being in second on the jet setter, then taking over first after I got blued, got the shortcut, front running with the jet setter, only to get blued again. Like two blue shells on lap three, very surprising. There's actually slightly less blue shells on Retro Rewind than on base game. So very surprising. And. Okay. Uh. Uh, I got first. I'm telling you guys, playing against TKS Memer is borderline unfair. He he gets first place so often when he doesn't get first place. That is why he got temporarily banned. <laughs> he's, the, he's such an advantage over everyone with how laggy his connection is. Okay, we are gonna reset the room. How did he get first? That's what I want to know. I did not even see him anywhere. <laughs> okay, let's see, where were we? We have Gianna Oaks, brand new membership. Thank you so much. We also have Poop Butt, 11 months, another glorious username. And uh, some very excited Donation messages, people love to see the streams again. Feels amazing. And honestly, like, it's been such a warm welcome. It's always like an interesting feeling when like I haven't streamed in a while and I'm gonna stream again. I feel like I've let people down by not streaming for such a long time, but then you guys always make me wanna stream again. So, oh, do I have to, oh, people can't join. Hang on, let me, let me try to reset my connection. I think there's a glitch with Retro Rewind where you like reset the rooms and then sometimes people can't rejoin. So we're just gonna reset Wing Fi. TKS lagged so much the blue shell didn't even target him. I know. Like, <laughs> he has such an unfair advantage on every single event because of his connection. Like. It's almost like hacking. <laughs> like if you can evade everyone's items by lag, it's it's just such a um, unfair thing to play against. <clears throat> it's it's like the worst lag I've ever played against. Flounderfest is returning, yes, Boomer Bear. Yeah, we have a lot of good ideas planned on Retro Rewind. It is gonna be pretty much entirely done on Retro Rewind this time. There's so many things we can do, so. We're gonna stick to it and we're both very excited for it. So I'm sure you guys will be in for a treat. The first episode we've already recorded, 
and it's like one of the best ones we've we've ever done. So it's it's gonna it's gonna be off to a great start, no question. Um, do we want to mix anything up? I'll, I'll just let everyone play standard. All right, we'll do Team VS though. I'll just I'll just let it randomize. And after this GP, we're gonna go on Worldwides. Oh yeah, no, I definitely remember that. The uh, we're gonna do Shooting Star this time. Um, I remember in 2012 how bad the YouTube streaming interface was. It's a lot better now. It still could use some improvements, but it's 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 improved quite quite a lot, which is nice. I don't know if it's the best streaming interface. I feel like Twitch still has a better interface, but maybe YouTube will get there. We got Daniel Mon with a $2 donation. Arcade, colon, missed the item box. This may hurt. Is that an arcade Mario Kart reference? Sam Cario with the $2. Bam, donation. <laughs> thank you, Sam, thank you, thank you. All right, is that Ryumi on the Jet Setter? No, Lu Lucio wins on the Jet Setter, okay. Well, we have a really good lead right now. We have one, two, four, five, six on the minimap. I gotta remember on blue team. I sometimes forget what team I'm on when oh, when I do multiple of these because like the colors switch a lot. So I always gotta remember blue team, blue team, blue team. Gotta gotta remember. <laughs> okay, what what just happened? I'm so confused. I got no item, I'm in last. Oh, the next item set isn't for seven million years. We're done for. Luckily my team has first, so we should be okay. I need this item box. That is so bad. I didn't expect it to show up again. And the bullet steals both my boxes. Oh, I'm getting screwed on this one. Right, sixth place. <laughs> I'll take it. That's a miracle. <laughs> Did TKS Mima really get second? I don't know. I'm sussed out right now. It did not look like he got second. All right, so we're at one point. Shy Guy Beach, always entertaining. Definitely not always skill based. But gotta watch out for those crabs. They're very unpredictable, and they move quick. Doesn't have the Mario Kart DS shortcut, but still has two big ones. This one's streamless too. A lot of people don't go for it, so we'll take advantage of that. Probably pass two or three people here. Yep. Gotta save this for the cloud shortcut. That is really unfortunate. That's the worst time. Well, I was gonna be in first, but not today. I got no item either. It's actually really spaced out there. Wow. Not quite having the luck on the shooting star as I did with the flame runner. I'm gonna go really wide to just ensure I get an item box this time. Ooh. I'm gonna. I tried target shocking second. Let's see if it worked. Oh, I missed. Oh. That's fine though. Used it slightly too late.
Okay, I'm just struggling with this thing right now. The drift is good too. It's not mock like, but it's comparable to the Flame Runner. Maybe a little worse? I don't know. I think I'm gonna hold this. If I can just hold this a little longer, I should be able to pass everyone almost. This is over, I can't make this gap. Oh my gosh, target shocked pretty much. That is so awful. I just wasn't able to do the cloud shortcut on this race at all. Oh, I think they top three us. All right, we are down only two, and everything has went wrong with GP, like. That shock, whoever, you, I hope that that was not our team that used that shock. That is all. Are you happy that Rainbow Road Solar Edition got an update in CTGP? It still has Minecraft on it. It got an update, but honestly, I don't feel any difference. I played the track and it literally feels the exact same as it did from like 50 million years ago. Like, wh what was the update? It just got a visual update. I didn't see any improvement when I played it. Got it, let's go. That feels good. I need this for my team, guys. We can't lose today, we can't lose. I'm sure a lot of people watching right now did not know about that shortcut. Play it really safe, go around. Oh, he's coming out of nowhere. All right. So he's right there on our screen, but we have literally no idea where he is. I'll use this. There's probably gonna be a shock soon. I'm gonna go wide for a box. And... Just gonna play it safe. Yep. We need a blue shell. The nice thing is, you pull a blue shell on Team BS, you actually know who's in first. It's amazing. Like, you don't have to be like in a Discord call to be able to know what to do. You can actually play like Clan Wars without setting all that up. Cause that was one of the biggest issues. <laughs> Amazing shock. Let's go. And yeah, so it's not only with blue shells, it's also it's also with the shocks. Like like my team is like, oh, let's get red team out of cannon, blue team in cannon, perfection. Oh gosh, this is scary. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Let's go! We're gonna win this! Look at this breakaway. Shoutouts to my team on that one. Alright. So we finished. Like four seconds in front of second, and blue team has three, four, five. We're gonna be up a lot going into the last race. As long as they don't like top four us, we're golden. Okay. 
Never mind. This is actually a lot closer than I thought it was. We're only up nine? All right. A little nervous. This can go either way, honestly. Justin MC, brand new member. Thank you so much to Justin. We have like 10 new people as new members. Uh, be sure to check out the Discord. You can sync up your YouTube account to your Discord. I'm not sure, it's on the settings for Discord. And then you could join our Discord server and you can participate in all the events we do. I always host events with the subscribers, get full rooms very quick. And I don't promote this too much just because we already have more than enough people joining the rooms. We never have an issue filling the rooms. If anything, the issue we have is just too many people, but the option is always there. It's always nice to see new people regardless. Right, this is me close. Doing all these little mini clan wars today. I mean, I'm very pleased with how there's just no disconnections. It's been such a pleasant surprise. Did not think I hit that. I feel like I'm just a little off with the shooting star. Like I have the hitbox a little wrong in my head. I like play it like the flame runner and I'm often surprised. The one big downside with this thing is it's not as fast. I'm just gonna use this as the mock bike. It's uh it's 94 damage, while the mock bike's 95 with Daisy. It's really good for me. Noodle! Oh, I almost didn't get my drift and fell off. Okay, we're, we're living. All right, it's gonna be a really close clan war here. It's gonna be really close. Yes. Thank you for not starting me. And try to hit boss boy. This is really unfortunate. There's no item. Oh, there, there are items. Oh, I didn't even know about that. There's items on the left. Yep, thank you. I just got owned by my team this race. I hope my team is able to pull through, like, position wise. All right, I got eighth on my screen. Let's see if I got lagged. It's a really close finish. Okay, we got top four. It didn't matter, let's go. <laughs> Sometimes you get hit by your team a lot, but it doesn't matter because your team ends up getting top spots. And in the end, it's all about getting those like top three spots. So it did not matter. Look at that noodle showing up 39 points, beasting it. And yeah, I mean, you can see how well the whole like clan war, mode works. I know it's called Team VS, but it's essentially like, you know, mini clan wars. And you could even set it to like 64 tracks or 32 or whatever. Like we've, we've just been doing four tracks to like keep changing up the formats just to show you guys all these different options. But yeah, as you, as you can see, I mean, there, there's just a lot of fun to be had. And if you're, if you're streaming retro rewind, like there's gonna be more and more options. And one of the coolest things is how quick you can change change things up. Like I'm so used to whenever I do my knockout tournaments on CTGP, there's like a hundred different setting options and you have to actually go out of the game to the channel. It takes a long time and then you have to change all the settings there and then you have to go back in the game. So anytime we do videos for that, we usually just decide one thing and we go with that for the day. But on Retro Rewind, like you can just change things up every 10 seconds and you can play eight different game modes in the course of an hour. Like it's really incredible. And look at this. We just went and joined a almost, an, we, we almost got in a full Retro Rewind worldwide, just like that. Incredible. I figured like we would just get in a room with one person and then we'd build from there. Oh, Kavi and Brody are in this room. Let's go. We already almost got in a full room. I'm gonna start randomizing my combo. This is gonna be hilarious. 
we got Meta13 with a $2 donation and Adam Rain mod is out for Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 or 8 Deluxe? I'm gonna assume it's just Mario Kart 8. Look at this beautiful track. Luigi Raceway, what a winner. I'm still sad about CTGP removing this track. Like they removed figure eight circuit last time and I was like, all right, nobody really cares about figure eight circuit. Like it's probably like the least beloved retro track. But then before that, they got rid of SNES Donut Planes 2 and I like that one and I really like this one. And now I'm just worried every update. I'm like, what, what else is gonna get removed at this point? They just need more track slots. ZPL in the chat, let's go. Hello! Hope the rewind is going well. ZPL, we've had no disconnections today. Everything is ran smooth. People are loving the mod. Overwhelming amount of support for the mod, ZPL. So you've done an incredible job. It goes without saying. And we're gonna be playing plenty more of this. I would say this mod has brought me back into Mario Kart Wii. Like, I don't really know how much Mario Kart Wii I would be playing if it wasn't for this mod. So. Cannot thank ZPL enough. In fact, you guys right now, you can all thank ZPL for this stream happening right now because he has made it happen truly. Also, look how amazing the interface looks. We could change our combo here. It's not an invisible option like we're used to. It used to be you have to click the plus button, but if you didn't know that, you would have no way of ever figuring it out you, unless someone told you about it. But now it's like we have actual buttons to be able to randomize the combo or change the combo. And look at that, <laughs> we're on Goofa standard card. I don't care what track we play, I'll just pick random. It's incredible. Yeah, you guys just send ZPL some love. Like he truly deserves it. This has gone above and beyond my wildest expectations. And ZPL, I'm gonna keep firing ideas your way. Like I can think of new ideas for this mod like every single day. There's just so much potential. And you know, especially with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe not getting updates this year, I think we're gonna slowly but surely get some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe players to try this out. They're already gonna, they're already gonna know half the tracks, which is incredible. So that, that just makes the entry barrier so low compared to every other CT mod pack I've played. I've played Mario Kart Midnight, I've played CTGP a million videos on this channel, more than anything, and done Mario Kart Wii Deluxe a handful of times. There is no easier mod to get into in Mario Kart Wii than Retro Rewind. You could literally boot it up right now, not having played Mario Kart Wii in 10 years, and you will do fine. Like, half the tracks are easier than the base game tracks, and none of them are as hard as Wii Rainbow Road or Bowser's Castle. going really well. I'm in fifth right now with Koopa. This seems like it's a pretty good carding track. I'm gonna chain. Try to get a purple here. Oh, that just ruined me. What? What was that air pocket? Are you kidding? Oh, I gotta get this box. That air pocket from the crevice just ruined my race. Ninth place box. I'm gonna start using it. <laughs> okay, I'm never doing this again. I learned the hard way on this race. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, all right, come on, mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms. Fight, win, go, go, go. Third, oh, fourth. Oh, that's still pretty good, I'll take it. I know the VR system changed, I wanna see what's going on. Wow, what a close race, first of all, but uh, this VR system is whack. I do not like this VR system. Only four people lost points. This VR system is not net zero. Like, I, it looks, it's more like the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe system, but I don't know, I liked how in Mario Kart Wii, the VR system was brutal, like, I kind of like the old system more. I think this one is way too generous. It's gonna, people are gonna get to 9999 way too easy on this this system. I think this this system def, definitely gotta change. I don't know, what do you guys think in the chat? I'm curious to see what chat's opinion on the VR system because that was very shocking. I did not expect it to be like that. 
Oh, we got the Blue Falcon, baby Luigi, let's go. VR system should be updated, Liam. Yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna feel that way. Let's see here, we have Old Day Nick with the five pound donation. Been watching for a couple years, but first time catching a stream, excited to see Nick back. Everyone's excited to see Nick back. Be sure to subscribe to Nick on YouTube. And Mead, he's been uploading shorts lately. Nick is back to YouTube. We got him back. Also, Nick was like almost not playing Mario Kart Wii at all last year. He only booted up the game a handful of times, but Retro Rewind also helped Nick get back into the game. Because he's always been someone who really just likes to play the 32 base game tracks. But with these retro tracks, like he's played a lot of the other Mario Karts and he knows the tracks and they're easy for him to, uh, you know, adjust his lines uh, and, and just pretty much like not have to grind the tracks and he, he can learn the lines pretty quick and go full time trial masterclass on us. He actually is the staff ghost for this track on CTGP, but yeah, Nick, Nick is working on multiple staff ghosts right now for Retro Rewind, uh, custom tracks and regular tracks. So this mod really helped bring him back into the game. And I was showing him, oh, this is the drift I'm dealing with on this? Oh, I'm so screwed this race. I am so screwed. Oh, I gotta start using this. We are gonna get a bottom spot on this race. This is Titus Drift Angle. This vehicle is about what you'd expect. We're just gonna hit the wall here and then deal with it. Oh, we had some of our purple mains well, that kind of saved us. Let's go. This is a hard right. This is me doing a hard right drift. Oh, oh, oh! What? That doesn't make any sense. There's invisible. Vis I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go around because I can't make the corner. This is me holding a hard. That is me holding a hard left drift. This is the most impossible track for this vehicle. Oh, we just got screwed. I mean, this thing could play fine on a lot of tracks. I should have picked automatic though. We're gonna hop up. Oh. <laughs> We. Alright, so let me see if I can showcase this. It's not going to be very useful considering I'm already boldening. We can trick here. And look at this. We have boost, and then we have a trick, and it is glorious. Nice little shortcut. Granted, I'm so far behind right now. It doesn't really do much good. But I need a bullet bill. I need a bullet bill right now. Oh. I don't even know if I should trick here. It's probably not a good idea. This is me trying to make this corner. And it is pain. All right, come on, Bullet Bill. Yes! Oh, I'm back in it now. This just saved my race. <laughs> Trust me, this vehicle could do just fine on like 80% of the tracks. This is just a really bad one for it. Okay, that, that really helped me. I was gonna hit the wall. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hardest race of the day, for sure. Eighth place box. Ooh, okay, we're getting up top. Beautiful. Let's get another mushroom. Maybe I'll get a Mega. That's actually really good. And I somehow didn't get ready. I'm gonna get ready here for sure. Yep. Please don't throw those back, Jacob. Please spare me. I'm just gonna break here and then mushroom. I think that's the only way I can make that corner. Yes! This is perfect. I had no idea how to approach this corner and now I should be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to make this corner. Oh my gosh, incredible. I should be able to clear this. Yes. Yes. Okay, this thing cannot turn. Don't know why I did that. I think we're gonna be okay. Fourth? Yeah, I'll take it. That was impossible. That was almost four minutes. Oh. That's what randomized combo can do to you, though. 
I mean, look at that. We were only three seconds behind first. Like, I'll take it. <laughs> on the, uh, on the regular VR, on the regular VR system, I would have probably lost VR there, honestly, because the 6,000 player ended up getting first. Troy, are gifting subs disabled? I hope not. Um, you know, I, I don't know how to turn those on, so they could be disabled. I didn't even know that was even a thing on YouTube. I can look into it. Let me see if I can figure it out real quick. I have a little bit of time before the next race. You know what, this YouTube interface has a lot going on. I definitely don't think I'm gonna find it in time. But I will look into it for next stream. So I appreciate you wanting to gift a sub right now because I feel bad. Definitely love when people give subs. Didn't even know that was a thing. I have not watched much F1, but maybe I should look into it. I know a lot of people that are into F1. Like, I definitely think it's really cool. I mean, there's like a really popular Netflix documentary on it that I definitely have to check out at some point. But yeah, I've never watched F1. <laughs> this is much better than the last combo. And yes, the Phantom is seen as one of the worst combos in the game, but it's actually like really solid with Inside Drift. It's, it's still like bottom half on the tier list, but you can make it work. You can definitely make it work. Using this bullet right now would do nothing for me, so I'm just holding it. The problem is, is I'm just falling further and further behind, so I gotta use it soon. It's just not gonna last long if I use it right now. It's really not. I'll just use it now. I held that for a really long time. Kavi up here on the Piranha Prowler Wario. Green shell? No, no green. I was hoping for a Goomba Snipe. Oh, this is scary, this is scary! <laughs> Third place. I've already played that one twice today. We played some goofy tracks today. It's been quite the quite the mix. Oh my gosh. TKS Memer, thank you for the membership. Appreciate it. Good games, good games. Scariest racer on the Retro Rewind streets currently. <laughs> Kiwi MK7, thank you for two euro donation. Yo Troy, how are you doing? This has been amazing so far. Thank you, Kiwi, appreciate you asking. I mean, we, we've just had like such a good session here. My biggest fear is I would I would stream this and there would be like lots of disconnections or some Wii Fi issues or like the game would freeze. Like the mod is still in its like early stages. You know, Retro Rewinds has not been out for a long time. It's only had the channel for a couple months. And before that we were using revolution to boot the mod so it's just in its early stages usually there's a lot of bugs and whatnot but things are running amazing today and i think it's been a great showcase of what this mod has to offer and i'm so happy to see people worldwide we have a full room right now there might even be multiple rooms like i think you know in the next like upcoming months people are going to start to realize like how this mod has so much going for it and anyone could jump in and play and you don't have like the skill ceiling is not super high you don't have to have put 5,000 hours into Mario Kart Mario Kart Wii in order to do well in this uh, this game mode this this mod like if, if you're good at the base game tracks like you're gonna be just fine playing these oh there is a cool strat on this one 
that I had added for a commission. I'm gonna go for it next lap. I love the gear section on this level. I wish the pendulums worked properly though. And the, the clock hands. Like there, there's, there should be like one more pendulum and then these clock hands don't move at all, which I don't understand why not. It'd be more fun if they moved around. I'm pretty sure they move in the other version of this track in CTGP. Let's see if I do this right. So right here, you trick, you trick, see? And then it's a little bit of a shortcut. I didn't pull it off that great, but you guys get the, the idea. I have to practice that one. It's a little mini shortcut. But yeah, it's funny because this one is just like the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version with the feel of it. However, this section is like Mario Kart DS all of a sudden. So I think it'd be really cool if it was like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at the end and there was that cool shortcut where you can jump over the gap and land on the clock hand and then trick off it. I always love that shortcut. It was, it was a pretty difficult one too, which was cool. Oh, see right there, I didn't get enough air. I actually got a low trick off the clock hand. I didn't shoot up and wasn't able to do the double trick. Luckily we still have a little bit of a lead because I had enough speed before it all went downhill. I'm just gonna pull this mini turbo until I get big to get the full boost. There we go. It's been a really smooth sailing race. I mean, I got really lucky with my combo here. Got no low trick, went for it. Gotta love the hammer bro, a shy guy on top, cheering me on as I finish him first. And yeah, I don't know how many times we're gonna hit the Flame Runner, but that was a nice, enjoyable race, especially what I went through the last few races. Uh, the <laughs> that GCM Bowser's Castle race was impossible. I got bailed out by power items over and over. 9444, let's go. Is Retro Rewind a more enjoyable experience on Wii or Dolphin? Uh, Derpski, you know what? I would say it just, I guess it depends on like the power of your computer. Like I've had more issues with it on Dolphin. It runs so perfectly for me on console and I feel like it's a little laggier on Dolphin. And that's the main reason I play on console, especially when I record, that's when I feel it the most, but it's enjoyable either way. Like if you're not recording, I don't think it's gonna be as much of an issue. Oh, wait, 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 we gotta do it. We gotta do it for the memes. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, like if you're not recording, it should be fine on Dolphin. If you're recording, you need to have a more powerful computer because just a little more work for your computer to do. Play Mario Kart Wii Galaxy? I've actually never heard of that. I'll have to look into it. Is GameCube controller? good for Mario Kart Wii. I mean, just use whatever controller you're most comfortable with. People use all sorts of different controllers for it, so yeah. If you can figure out how to enable gifting memberships on YouTube, that'd be great. Yeah, I will definitely look into that. Thank you so much for bringing it to my attention. We're going for the real shortcut. Oh, I can't drift tight enough to do the whole thing. Oh well. This is gonna be a tough one. I don't know how the Magic Cruiser is going to fare on RMX Ghost Valley. We'll do our best. No offer on this track whatsoever, to my knowledge. Ouch. Wow, this actually goes 91. That's pretty good. That's, that, I thought this thing went like 89. It's pretty good on drive ones. I'm going backwards, out of rage. It's probably not worth it. <laughs> We're still in it. We're still in it. It's actually pretty close. Oh, I need a dodge item. I don't even really want to use it. This is such a good item. I don't really want to use it yet. Okay, why did you have to throw the red shell back? There were so many people in front of you. 
Yes, great time for the shock. Be a rough one, guys. Uh, we're not getting first or second. Maybe if everything goes perfect, we can get third. Okay, my red shells did not do anything, but we will take fifth place. That was a stressful one. And that was like the worst possible track we could have got for Magic Cruiser. A little unfortunate. I was going for Maple Tree Way for obvious reasons. Pretty close race, besides uh, first place. It's running fast though. It's, it's running really fast. Like, I feel like there's not that much time between races. I feel like it's running faster than I'm used to on the regular WeamFi server, just playing regular Worldwides. I don't know what that's about. Another nice thing, it's always 150cc when you're playing this mod. You don't have to learn mirror mode on all the 100 custom tracks. Like there's, there's 136 tracks total, I think. So there's over 100 custom tracks. You do not have to learn both directions to do just fine on this. There's also no 100cc which when you're playing the regular WeamFi server, 100cc comes up more than 150 and mirror mode. It's actually really sad. I bet a lot more people would play WeamFi if 100cc wasn't part of it. So I hope one day that gets changed, but I don't know if it ever will. Nathaniel Natster, thank you for the $1 donation. Appreciate it, brand new dono. And we also have Gwent with the $2 donation. I love your videos, dude, watching for five years. Yo, thank you so much. That's a long time. I really appreciate that. That is... Let's see, five years. That was gonna be when I like was doing race to 99 versus Nicholas. That was probably like around then. You've been watching since before Flounderfest. 100cc is horrible. Yeah, Trilby, I think 100cc is the biggest deterrent from like getting people to play. Like 100cc is so boring and unnecessary. Like the fact that it's still on regular WeamFi servers for this game, it's really sad. Like if it was 150 and mirror only, Oh, so many more people would be interested in just hopping in World Lives and playing. Because 100cc messes up your lines too. Like, if you're playing uh, competitive matches, there's no 100cc. If you're playing Lounge or Clan Wars, whatever it may be, you, you don't play 100. So so if you're having to go in World Lives and then learn 100cc lines, it's going to mess up your timings for 150cc. Like, nobody wants to deal with that. So, I mean, something should really be done about that. If you, you, you know, the community wants more people playing the game, like, on the regular worldwide server, the one where you could just type in a different DNS code and play immediately without needing any mods with the base game 32 Nintendo tracks. You know, I mean, we, we need 100cc gone. <laughs> so uh, on CTGP, there's no 100cc, uh, but they do have mirror mode, which is insane because you have to learn 200 plus custom tracks, plus you have to learn them all on mirror. And it's, I think, 70%, 70 to 80%, 150 CC, and then like 25% or so mirror mode. So, Retro Rewind, it's 100% of the time, 150 CC. That's it. All right, this blue shell's taking everyone out. No. I was gonna hold that all race for the shortcut at the end. This track, I'm pretty sure, got changed. I think I think it got scaled down a bit, but I still feel like it's too big. The track just feels really big. Okay, I, I gotta respect Leo's greens right now. Kind of a rough spot. I'm not gonna be able to go for shortcut. I'm just gonna throw this right now. I don't know where my red went. Go, go, go! Oh, okay, fourth place. I'll take it. Still pretty good. 50cc is weird slow. Oh yeah, thank god 50cc is not an option for online. <laughs> 50cc, the worst idea Nintendo ever had. They should just get rid of 50cc and 100cc next Mario Kart game. Like. Make 150cc the slowest speed, nobody would be upset with that. What do you think it would take for a Mario Kart Wii resurgence to happen? 
UAW. Well, I mean, this mod is gonna get better and better. I'm really curious to see where it is like six months from now. Like the improvements I've seen in just six month, months uh, time, like if you guys remember, I was uploading this like September last year and this mod was really in its infancy. Oh no. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh gosh, I hope figure eight circuit shows up. Um, but yeah, so like this mod was in its infancy. I mean, it's already improved so, so much over six months. I think this mod could really like make people interested in playing the game again, even if it's just casually, you know? So I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it would take for like a full resurgence. However, I will say the fact that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has no more content coming for it, you'll, you'll get more people playing this game because even in like 2019, 2020, this game was doing so well. And I felt like this game was more popular for streaming and for videos than 8 Deluxe. But then obviously once 8 Deluxe got DLC, it, it became way more popular. So yeah, but like I was always so surprised at how like this game, it did better on my channel. It seemed to do better on YouTube overall. And mostly because of the mods, you know? The, the mods for this game are incredible. There's so many of them. There's endless amounts of mods. By the way, this is the tightest I can drift. I'm doing my best, guys. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Wow, the purple meat turbo on the Jet Setter, though, is actually really good. It's better than I thought it would be. I'm gonna do shortcut. Right, it's just right here. Are you kidding? This is a joke! That was so unfortunate. There goes everything. All right, all right, it's okay, it's okay. I get triple mushrooms and I can hold them and then do that shortcut again. Mm, can you do it with one mushroom? I don't know. Jet setter, one mushroom? Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Yes! Oh, we're back in it, we're back in it. That was huge. And we didn't get bulleted. I'm just gonna chuck this. I, I, I am just grinding against the wall because I have no choice. Stop, stop it. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, is one mushroom enough to do the shortcut with the cart? I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chain it. It always shoots me to the right. That's so weird. Happened both laps. <laughs> I'll take fourth. <laughs> you can use any combo on this mod. You can do all right. Unbelievable. Fourth place with the Jet Setter on Rainbow Road. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> The music is beautiful. Oh yeah, the, the music is amazing, always. But yeah, anyway, to go back to the question on what it would take for a game's resurgence, like having more people stream it and more people make videos for it is like one of the biggest things. Cause I always think about how many people have told me that they got back into Mario Kart Wii or got interested in it because of my videos. And that, that's generally how it goes with games. It's like people are, a lot of people are uploading it. It just shows a lot of excitement. It creates communities for the game. And then that's one of the most fun ways to play this game is through fun rooms, like streamers open rooms and then do different formats. And then, you know, there's, there's just a lot of creativity there. So I think the game will have multiple resurgences and it'll have multiple downfalls. Like, if a new Mario Kart comes out, like the game is gonna go super inactive, it's inevitable. But then like two years after the new Mario Kart comes out, people get tired of it, they go back to Mario Kart Wii. I feel like this game always brings people back, even if it takes a couple years. We got Phil with 33 months, let's go. Hi, do you think Retro Rewind will become more popular than CTGP? Um. Not with like the competitive community because CTGP is the only mod that has like a perfect, near near perfect security system. And like, even if there's no money for like tournaments for Clan Wars or for like Mogi Lounge, it's very important that the security 
is top notch because otherwise there'll be people who cheat and then it completely ruins the integrity of the races and then people aren't gonna play it, people are gonna quit the game. So CTGP is like the only mod pack that has that security system. So I don't think that it'll like fully take over the community and everyone's just gonna be playing this mod. Like that's definitely not gonna happen. However, I think like this mod has the best chance of getting people to play Worldwides again. Like, not many people play CT Worldwides. It's it's not nearly as popular as it used to be, and it really bumps me out, because the only way to play people online, just queue up for games, especially for casuals that just want to boot up the game and don't have any like Discord servers that they're a part of for Mario Kart. Like, the only way they're able to play is just the regular 32 track Worldwides, which, as we talked out about before, they have 100cc most of the time, and they're not really that fun, and it's, it's really unfortunate, so. If, if this became really active, a lot of people would play it and it would be just a great casual mode. The fact that it has the auto updater now and DLC updates happen without having to re-insert your SD card and then download a bunch of files, it's an incredible thing. Like, this mod has gone places that I did not expect so quickly. So th th this could be like something that really takes over like the casual community, not the competitive community. I imagine it's it's very difficult to do what Mr. Bean has done for security features, like making Mario Kart Wii hack proof. So I don't know if any other distribution is gonna have that. All right, fifth place, I will take that. I thought this one was a, a GG. I mean, <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Oh, the music just cut out randomly. The VR system on this definitely needs to change. It's kind of underwhelming seeing like plus eight. I do I do miss the, the larger values and it being more difficult to gain VR. I feel like I've gained VR every single race since I've joined this room, which is kind of ridiculous. Like I've definitely finished in the middle sometimes. <clears throat> I'm gonna get to more chat messages here um, about Mario Kart Wii Galaxy. It is a custom track distribution with better custom tracks than CTGP and a fair amount of tracks, 204 total, and they're all beautiful in my opinion. It'll get custom music too. I've never really heard of Mario Kart Wii Galaxy, but I'm curious. I'll definitely look, look uh, at a few videos on it. Do you think you'll host another Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tournament? I, yeah, I think I will do a couple meme tournaments. I don't know if I'll stream them though. I might I might do like the uh, the fun room option that they added in the last DLC wave. Oh gosh, Baby Park. Um, I don't think I'll do any more like 8 Deluxe tournament streams. The tournament mode for 8 Deluxe is kind of boring. It's, it's, not, it's not what it could be. <laughs> Troy misses having a bad race and getting minus 200. Yes, I do. I do. I, I actually think that's like super hype when you go up and down a lot. In fact, I, I almost wish he made the VR system harder. Like, like really hard. Like hitting nines is almost impossible. Like that would be really cool. I'm not, I'm not exactly the, like sure the best way to balance it. I do know one thing though is like, he's not able to make it so a thousand VR is the minimum. That used to be a feature if you guys remember but it's not a feature anymore because it, it messes with like the licenses for the other distributions. Like if you have a thousand on Retro Rewind, then you go and you play CTGP and you have a thousand VR, it's gonna really screw things up. So that's the issue. So I don't think it's possible for us to start with a thousand, which is unfortunate because that would've been really cool. The best thing that Worldwide's could get is have the VR cap raised by like 90,000. Like, I told Mr. Bean about this years ago. I was like, if you could raise the VR cap to 35,000 or 99,000, 999, just, just raise it to anything more than what it's currently at. Like, that would get a lot of people playing again. It would give people an incentive to try to, you know, just, just try to grind worldwide endlessly, essentially. Let's go! First place, standard bike L. I have been doing really well with Wario today, I've noticed. Wait, ZPL says I can do that. 
you can do what? Make the VR system harder or make the VR system higher? Like imagine if the VR system went to 30,000 or 35,000 or 99,000. And then when you went to other distributions, it just changed your VR to 9999. I don't know. At this point, the reason I throw out these crazy ideas is cause like ZPL has done so many things and, and other people like Melg and Brawlbox, like they've done so many things I never thought would be done. So I feel like anything's possible at this point. It seriously feels like anything's possible. <laughs> you make getting to 9999 look like a cakewalk. I'm on a roll right now. The, the session's going amazing. I cannot believe how well these races are going. I'm literally just randomizing every combo. Oh, we got the Magic Cruiser again. Let's go. Yeah, that is possible to make it harder. Got it, ZPL. Yeah, I mean, if you made it like harder than it is in uh, WinFi and CTGP to get VR, like that would be really cool. I don't know how much harder you should make it. Maybe just a little harder. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the best way to do it. If you guys have any recommendations for ZPL in the chat for VR system updates, fire them his way. Cause it's kind of a complicated thing. I, I don't know the best way to go about it. I'd have to really think about it. Yo, we got Waluigi Pinball again, let's go. Atlas is in the chat. Atlas, what is up? Atlas, we gotta do more vehicle mod videos in the future. We gotta do more vehicle mod rooms. I, I have some vehicle mods made and I have yet to make a video on them, but I will definitely let you, let you know when that happens. Atlas was helping me a few years ago with all the vehicle mods. When you remember guys, when we did like max me turbo, max handling, max weight, max, we did, we did pretty much every single stat except speed. Cause I mean, when we did max speed, we just did like the platinum runner, like the, uh, the gold, the gold cart, you know? So those were such fun videos. I definitely want to bring that back with a little bit of a twist. Okay. And I really want to get two mushrooms to do that shortcut I did last time. I'm using it. Probably not a smart decision. Yep, kind of a waste. I did gain a little bit of time though. At least I was on corners when I used the Mega. The thing with the Mega Mushroom is it's a lot better when you're drifting than it is when you're wheeling. You're not really going any faster compared to just being regular size when you are wheeling. It does help with your chain wheelies, but that's about it. While the Mega Mushroom is insanely helpful when you're drifting. You go wheelie speed while drifting. So it's a pretty big bonus. Oh, okay, so. The player in first got target blue shell, but that made them dodge the shock. So I think it's gonna be really close here. Yeah, okay, we just lost the lead just like that. And the big shortcut I showcased earlier, I don't think I could pull that off with one mushroom. We could do a smaller version of the shortcut, so I'm gonna keep chaining boxes and try to pull a mushroom. I really like how you can trick out of this cannon. Super satisfying. Really speeds up the level. No trick boost. I have to slow down because the pinball is actually ruining my life right now and I have to dodge it by slowing down again. Losing a lot of time right now. Okay, we're cut actually cutting this really inside for Magic Cruiser. That was solid. Finally get a mushroom. There's a pal anyway, but the shortcut is passed. We can't go for it. Also, I'm pretty sure I have the music speed up option enabled, but the music is just going regular speed. It, it doesn't feel like lap three music, does it? Like, it, it feels kind of strange. It feels like it's lap one or two right now. And I turn that option on. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. It says music speed up as an option. We'll take third. That's pretty solid. <clears throat> TKS Memer, yo, thank you. We got TKS Memer with the five pound donation. Can't believe been watching you since I was 10. Now I'm 18 and joining the rooms and having fun. Also, my net hurts me more than you all think. 
Oh, it hurts us a lot, TKS Memer. <laughs> it hurts everyone. You have to stop playing on Hotspot. You need to get a legit connection. Because you're great at the game. But we just don't know where you are on the racetrack. Is there a shortcut on this version of Waluigi Pinball? Jetpack? Yes. You have to check it out. Um, in fact, what's so great about YouTube streams is you can literally just, on the stream, you could just grab the cursor and you could just dial it all the way back to like the first 30 minutes of the stream and you can see where I did the shortcut. I, I did it on lap one. I can't remember what combo I was on, but it was pretty early in the stream and it's a very simple two mushroom shortcut, a lot harder to do with one mushroom. Um, in fact, I've never really been able to pull it off that well with one mushroom. But yeah, like definitely check it out. It's super satisfying. It's a must learn for this game mode. Also, didn't we play this less than eight races ago? I'm so confused, ZPL. I thought the same tracks couldn't show up over and over. I don't know. We, we just, we literally just played this one. I don't know how it's showing up again. I'm so confused. We are in a really good spot here. I am going to hold these for the big shortcut. Yes, that did not go for me. We're getting lucky. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We're good. I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna hold this. Wow, these red shells are all just going around me right now. Getting super lucky. Gotta watch out for Boomer. I don't know how I didn't get hit by any of that. Okay, here we go, here we go. That is pain. That is so much pain. Oh. All right, we're using it. I don't care, I can't dodge. I'm just using it anyway. This vehicle does not have the best drift. There is another shortcut on this track. Maybe I should go for it. I'm, I, I'm not gonna go for it, actually. It's gonna be too hard with this vehicle. I don't have tight enough drift. You can skip this S-Pen right here. Yo, Atlas is in the room. Using the Flame Flyer, let's go. Love to see it. I have to chain this. I think I need at least two mushrooms with this combo to get the big shortcut at the end. I cannot believe my luck last lap. We need a little redemption right here. Gotta use this. Shock. Please. Pretty please. Are you kidding me right now? Bam! That was so satisfying. This is an amazing track. Two minutes, seven seconds. Like, this is one of my least favorite tracks on CTGP for the retros. It's super long and slow. And on this version, like, I think he nailed the scaling on it. It's really good. It looks really pretty too. It looks like the Mario Kart 8 Del Deluxe Rainbow Road. Like the textures. Mario Kart Wii Galaxy has only one video, which is on my channel. I'm trying to make it big, so I am asking you, since you're the best creator, <laughs> thanks. Uh, I, I'll check it out. Like I love playing new distributions and just showcasing all the different stuff the community has to offer. There's so many, I lose track of all the different mods, but I will definitely take a look at it. Uh, thank you for recommending it, and I love your passion for Mario Kart Wii mods. What am I kidding? We've been picking random this entire time, but if we get this combo, we gotta go Maple Treeway. I cannot believe we got this combo again. <laughs> getting so lucky here. Getting the greatest combo of all time, Drive Bones Match Cruiser, as we all know. Do we need the Mario Kart Wii disc to play Retro Rewind? No, you don't. You just need the ISO, um, which I'm sure you could find, <laughs> and you could just play it on Dolphin, and Dolphin Emulator is free, so. That is an option. You do not need the disc in order to play it that way. For playing it on console, I'm pretty sure you need the disc, but there might be a way to play without the disc. You'd have to ask a ZPL. He would definitely know better than me. All right, we're playing this one again. Let's go. There's so many good tracks we stop and play. 
I cannot wait till all the 8 Deluxe version, uh, track versions are made. I know that Rome Avanti came out today. I haven't checked out the custom track, but I'm excited to see that one. Some of the 8 Deluxe tracks are like really impressive. I, uh, I can't wait till they're all as polished as the rest of them. That's gonna be a real treat. We're gonna have like probably 160 tracks at some point, especially with some of the tour tracks. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, we're good. There's Brody. We're both Magia cruising it. We're getting a top two of Brody this race, I'm calling it. That's fine, I don't care. We are in the back anyway. We are going to potentially get something to dodge. Last race was so exhilarating too. Kavi has the shock. And the shock is gonna be used pretty soon. I'm just gonna do this. He's gonna use it now. Maybe not though, maybe because of the cannon. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure Kavi is holding the shock, the Luigi, on the minimap, and is gonna use the shock right now. No. No shock. Okay, really interesting. I'm gonna get redded. I'm gonna break. Oh, magnetical, go! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm going really wide. I wanna dodge. Kavi had the bullet, not the shock. Interesting. Okay, well I guess I could do this. This is botched. That's <laughs> so bad. I had like a last second decision where like, oh, I'm going for shortcut. And yeah, it was probably not the way to go. No, 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 no. I think we're fine. Okay, so totally failed. It doesn't matter. The Magic Cruiser has such good acceleration. We were able to recover. Whew. That was close. The pinball shortcut was amazing. That version of N64 Wario Stadium looks so good. Yeah, I know, we played it twice in a row, which was unfortunate, but it's such a beautiful track. Like, it's one of the best retro tracks ever made. I love how they incorporated like other elements of the Wario Stadiums, like the uh, DS Wario Stadium in Mario Kart 8. Like, there's a sec section of the track that really feels similar to that. It was just a beautiful retake on Wario Stadium from N64. It actually made the track a lot of fun, and that was one of my least favorite tracks from Mario Kart 64. It kind of reminds me how in the newest version of GBA Luigi Circuit, they incorporate certain elements from the other Luigi Circuit tracks, like they have the tunnel from uh, Luigi Raceway, and then they have the boost panels from GCN Luigi Circuit and Wii Luigi Circuit on the sides. So like GBA Luigi Circuit in both CTGP and Retro Rewind is really good now. I wasn't crazy about it when I first played it, but it's really grown on me. I like how it shows the times on the results screens. It is such a great feature. It's great for commentary too, because we can like talk about how close the races were or like how like third through 10th was only a second in between. You see some really entertaining moments that you never get that data usually. So that, that's such a nice addition for sure. All right, I mean, this is a combo, I guess. <laughs> Let's see how we do. Yo, we got Cacti in the room tryharding it. Uh-oh, that's not good. We're just getting destroyed here. This is rough. I'm gonna get the shock, right? Ooh, that's pretty good, I'll take it. Let's try again. I'm gonna get the shock right now. <laughs> well, if I say that and I get a star every time, I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna get the shock right now. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'll take a bullet. It's not a golden or triple shirt, like it's pretty good, I'll take it. I'm just gonna use it. I'm. Not gonna risk losing it. Oh, it's not very good. It's kind of in the middle now with nothing. Not really that helpful. 
might even be better to be in the back to have a chance of dodging. I need a Mega or something. Triple Shrooms would be good. Oh! The Fib! Did you guys see that? It like got wedged between like the, the banner and the pole and then it fell down really slowly. That was entertaining. So I go 98.50 in a purple Mini Turbo, which is not really that good. This vehicle is an amazing item rain vehicle. It's great on 400, but on 150, not so much. Yo, fifth place? Oh my gosh. I'm making miracles happen right now. I should send you a clip of N64 Wario Stadium. You can go through the wall at the end just by hopping. I have no idea what you're talking about, but definitely send it. Do you consider yourself a roller coaster fan? Yo, John Alvey, thank you for the $5 donation. Saw your post at Six Flags New Jersey on Instagram. What's your favorite ride? Love the videos. You hurt my GPA though. <laughs> oh no. Oh, hang on. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try hard it for a bit. My favorite roller coaster. I don't know. That's such a hard question. There's just so many good ones. I love roller coasters. I don't ride them as much as I used to, but if there's a roller coaster nearby, like I'm gonna ride it. That's my mentality with roller coasters. Um, I've been on over 200 different roller coasters in my life, so quite a lot. My favorite one, I'll give a couple. I like Maverick at Cedar Point, El Toro at Six Flags, New Jersey. Um, let me think. It's a tough question. I like Phoenix at Knobles. I don't know if any of you guys have been on that one, but that one has the craziest restraint system. Like Phoenix at Knobles is like the perfect roller coaster. Like th that that's that's one of my favorites. I think that one might be my favorite. Steel oh, Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. That one top top 10 for sure. Um let me think. Well, I really like Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm. I've ridden that one like a million times though, because I've been to Knott's endlessly as a kid. And X2 and Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Yeah, I've named a lot now. I don't know, it's hard just to pick one, you know? Like these are like all the best roller coasters I've been on. And then um, there's this park in Sweden. It's called like Liseberg or something. Le Liceberg, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but there's this roller coaster there called Balder that was really good. It was like El Toro. That one's amazing. That one's definitely top 10. And then Helix also, same park. So that's probably like 10 or so roller coasters. I'm just thinking about roller coasters now. Oh, Top Thrill Dragster, that's another one. I love Top Thrill Dragster. Like, riding Top Thrill Dragster in the front row is like the best thing ever. What a throw, what a throw. Thank you for that, Cacti. But yeah, there's actually a new version of Top Thrill Dragster. It's pretty ridiculous looking. And I have not obviously been on that. I think it comes out pretty soon though. Like Cedar Point's like revamping the whole entire ride. Oh, that's really unlucky. I hate when that happens. It is gonna be a battle here at the end. It's very close and if Cacti pulls a Mushroom, he's gonna win because there is a shortcut on this track. It's right here. What you can do is you can trick and land up top on the right and then skip this corner and end up over here. Looks like he didn't pull a Mushroom. We should be good. Yeah. 
It is fun tryharding it, not gonna lie. Let's see here. Nathaniel Natster, thank you for the $1 donation. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Rosha1, thank you for the $5 donation. A question I've wondered for a while. What was your racing game history pre-MKWE? What made you like the game so much? This is a really good question. I don't think I ever have got this question, which is wild. Um, my first Mar my first racing game ever was Super Mario Kart. My brother had the Super Nintendo, so I was indoctrinated into Mario Kart at a very young age. I was playing Mario Kart when I was four years old. Not kidding. Like. I was, it was like one of the first video games I ever played. I was playing Street Fighter and Mario Kart and Tetris and like NBA Jam. I was playing a bunch of random games, but Mario Kart Super uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit was the one that got me into it. I played a ton of Mario Kart Super Circuit. I I liked Mario Super Mario Kart. I liked it, but I liked Super Circuit quite a bit more. So I played way more Super Circuit. I never had an N64. I did not play Mario Kart 64 until it came out on the Wii Virtual Console in, I wanna say like 2007 or something. Um, one of my favorite racing games was Star Wars Racer's Revenge. Such an amazing racing game. It was on the PlayStation 2, and I bet almost everyone in the chat has never heard of it. But you could unlock like Darth Maul and Darth Vader when you beat the game. It was, it was, and they had like perfect stats. It, it was so exciting. There was a lot of cool shortcuts. The game was difficult. I played all the Pod Racer games. I played the one on the computer, the Sega Dreamcast, the uh, the Game Boy Color. I, I used to play all the Pod Racing games because uh, I love Star Wars growing up. And the racing game that was my favorite was Mario Kart DS. So before Mario Kart Wii came out, Mario Kart DS was the game I played the most. That and Mario Strikers Charged. But Mario Kart DS was just so much fun and I, I felt like I could never get as good as I wanted to be, which was exciting. Like the game, the skill ceiling for the game was so unbelievably high that I felt like I could play the game endlessly, even though I was just playing base game 32 tracks. So I would say that Mario Kart DS was the racing game I played the most until Mario Kart Wii came out. And a lot of you guys don't know this, but when Mario Kart Wii came out, I quit playing the game after like four months, I want to say. And I started playing Mario Kart DS again. So the game came out in April and by July, I was done with the game. I just thought the game wasn't as good as Mario Kart DS. And I hated the automatic mini turbo, or sorry, the, uh, the the mini turbo system. Like, on Mario Kart DS, you could endlessly snake and it was busted. And the mini turbo system, I thought they completely ruined it in Mario Kart Wii. So I didn't really think Mario Kart Wii was like amazing when it came out, which is so funny because now it's my favorite game ever. But yeah, th this is how I felt in 2008. I was very young back then too, so. You know, it, it was it was more just like frustration over it being different. Like the, the fact they changed it, you know? They changed the system, you know? Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart DS, like the main turbo system works so differently. I was like, why did they change it? Why did they do this? Why are they nerfing things so much? I was not happy. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, I came back to the game because like there was this this amazing shortcut video made by this guy named like Rolation or Rolation. I don't even think the video exists anymore. It was called like Top 10 Shortcuts. It was it was in like November 2008 or something. It was a super old video. And I just saw like in the video like 10 shortcuts I didn't know, like such cool shortcuts, just a compilation of them. And then I was like, wow, I was like, this game has a lot more to it than I realized. And then I started to realize like how much fun bikes were and how much fun the flame runner was and then when I came back to the game I got really into it in 2009 and then I stopped playing Mario Kart DS altogether and then I went entirely full Mario Kart Wii in 2009 and I really haven't looked back since like the the better I got at Mario Kart Wii the more fun it was I ended up ended up the game had like way more tech than I ever realized so yeah I definitely don't think that there'll ever be another Mario Kart game I like as much as this one. 
But I would love to be proved, proved wrong on that. Like I, I would love for someone to come along and you know make any racing game better than this. It doesn't have to be a Mario Kart game. Like maybe one day there there will be a computer game like on Steam or something that's some like kart racer game style that is even better than Mario Kart Wii and takes certain elements from Mario Kart Wii. I think like the longer people are playing the game, the more like attention the game will get in a way uh, with the internet. Cause, cause like think about games like Melee or um, Mario, uh, Super Mario 64 those games sometimes spike in popularity 15 years, 20 years after they came out. So it really shows like, this game came out in 2008 and yeah, I mean, it's 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 got a long ways to go, I would say. I mean, once it hits like 20 years and people are still playing this game, that's gonna get a lot of attention. It's like gonna be 2028 and people are gonna be still like <laughs> booting up Mario Kart Wii, turning on their Nintendo Wiis like, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty insane to think about it. I'm sure I played other racing games, but those are just my favorite ones. And those are the ones I spent the most time playing. Well, we've already played this. I think I'm gonna open another room, like earlier. That was fun. Okay, I did that really slow, but that's fine. See items being chucked all over the bridge. Definitely got some off schools for next lap. Rosha, you're welcome. Thank you for such a great question. I seriously have never got that question before. Okay, I totally botched this section. That's gonna be okay though. I think I can still get the main turbo. Yeah, I can get the wheelie. Gotta go down the side. I still think it's so funny how they, they made it grass, but then there's no off-road effect. Like, you would expect there to be like slight off-road or like a slidey surface on the grass portion of this level, but they make it the exact same as the dirt. I can imagine there's probably so many people that the first time they play this track, or even the first few times they play, they're just like evading the grass thinking it's off-road. And then taking super long lines. All right, I kind of feel bad right now. This is just an unfair race. Just no threats this race. I guess I'm kind of asking for it by saying that. Watch me get target blue shelled now. Cool, 215, I'll take it. Would you consider yourself a competitive player? I think I'm about as casual as they get, honestly. <laughs> I have played so little competitive anything, like any video game. I've played so little competitive in the last like 12, 13 years. So uh, I am like definition casual, honestly. I mean, you've seen, I've pretty much used every vehicle today. All right, we're gonna be taking a break from this room. I'm gonna open another room and get some people in it. I mean, I have open host enabled, so anyone can join right now. Let's make a room, let's let's get some people in. Hopefully it doesn't have the issue it had earlier where people couldn't join. I mean, we'll know pretty quick. But let's end this stream with a room. I feel like I've probably been going like two and a half hours at this point. See, this is so easy to stream. I, I feel like time is just, it's just flown by. Like, the amount of time we've spent racing versus just on menus is monumental today. Yeah, I used to do a series called Troy versus Custom Track, but I was never like going crazy trying to get world records on custom tracks. I was just trying to beat the staff ghosts on CTGP. The most hardcore thing I did was try to get glitch world records, which we got a handful of them, which is really cool. So I guess that counts as being competitive. So maybe that's the most competitive thing I've done in this game. And then obviously back in like high school, I used to play Clan Wars. 
play I've probably played like 500 clan wars in my life like a lot and then I've done like one Mario Kart 8 deluxe clan war or maybe two of them <laughs> let's see here PP pirate with a five dollar donation hey Troy longtime fan since 2018 have you ever ridden Tatsu at Six Flags Magic Mountain it's one of the hanging coasters with the inverted loop I think it's the largest hanging coaster in the entire world Flying coaster, I think is the term. Uh, I've been on it probably like 50 times, um, like 10 years ago, when I when I first rode Tatsu on the pretzel loop inversion, my phone flew out of my short shorts pocket and it hit a rock and shattered. And that was really sad. And then I wore zipper pockets when I went to theme parks from then on. So there's my Tatsu story. That's the only time I've ever had something break on a roller coaster. Very funny. That roller coaster is no joke. It's one of the craziest roller coasters I've ever been on. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do, guys? What do we want to do? We should, I think we should just like do more Team VS, honestly. Yo, is that the shortcut? Oh my gosh, it might be, I'm not sure. This is hype, I have no idea. Could be an imposter. Let's do, we have 12, let's do Team VS. We got Atlas in the room. I saw MKB Phonics shortcut in here, Kez. This is gonna be a good time, let's, let's do it. And we're gonna randomize, of course. Wario Stadium glitched through the wall. Ryumi, thank you for sending that. I will check it out later for sure right after the stream finishes. I am going to use carts. My my team might be mad about this, but I, I, wanna, I wanna try carts. I, I wanna see how we do. Is that shortcut? I, I seriously don't know. I, I, I have no idea. It could be, it could not be. 50-50. That would be really high. Oh, I don't know about this track. I'm not gonna be able to make that one corner. It might work, it might work, let's see. All right, we're blue team. Gotta remember that, blue team, blue team, blue team. Gotta say it 10 times. Blue team, blue team. Oh, we're already in last, great. Can we make this corner? No, not even close. This is a hard right drift. And it's pretty brutal. I stopped the purple? I stopped the purple? Oh, we were flying. We had a purple nature bowl for half the lap. First on carts? No, no, no. Just one more card. Let's go. I don't know. I don't think it's imposter. I think it's really shortcut. The me is too perfect. Oh, I was just about to release the purple nature bomb past like five people, and now it's over. G G's. I think we got first and third. I I, I think that was actually a really good race because red team also got last. Oh no, we got second. Okay, this is gonna be close. We definitely won that one. Five point lead. I'll take it. Patrick. Bergstead with the $5 donation. Hi Troy, thank you for consistently keeping this game at the top of my subscriptions. Do you have any core memories of playing Wii Sport Resort? I have played Wii Sport Resort, but not that much. I played the regular Wii Sports a lot more, like, like 10 times as much, and I, I loved the regular one. Like the regular one was seriously 
such a treat. Oh, did this get retextured? This looks different. But yeah, the regular one was incredible. Oh, this is different. This is not the same version of Daisy Cruiser. Something is, is different. Also, Mushroom Bridge got retextured. I played that one the other day, and I was pleasantly surprised at how beautiful it looks now. All right, let's card it up here. Let's... Let's make Carter's proud today. We've done a good job of that. Oh. Okay. I think Shortcut is right, me. According to chat. Which is unfortunate. I thought it was Shortcut. That was actually really solid. We're still in it. You, you can definitely cart with this vehicle on Daisy Cruiser. It's been more playable than expected. No. No. I wanted that so bad. Oh. All right. Well, this got really interesting all of a sudden, didn't it? No box. GG's. That is actually amazing. Amazing. I thought I was going to squish my own team member. I somehow didn't, and we took all the middle spots. I think we're still going to be doing all right here. Yeah, I got 11 points. Still doing pretty solid here with the mini beast. We're up by four. This is a close one. We've had no disconnections today. ZPL, I don't know what you did to Retro Rewind, but like it is running so much better now. We were having disconnections all the time last week and I was afraid to even make Team BS videos. But this is, this is incredible. <clears throat> I, I will stream Mario Kart 8 Deluxe again at some point, but I think for the foreseeable future, at least the next couple months. Mario Kart Wii time. We're gonna focus on Mario Kart Wii. Oh, this is gonna be really interesting seeing how this drift style does on one of the most complicated regular tracks. Okay, I did not do that input, what the heck? But it doesn't matter, because we are gonna be getting so much here. Oh, I didn't get the trick. It's really, really bad. Losing a lot of time. Third is right there now. Yes! Gotta love the slow own. Always feels good. I'm so done. Yes! I used the fire pillar to dodge the red, and the other one cracked on nothing, and now he only has one red left. I'm actually in a decent spot now. I'm gonna try to ride him. This might connect. Try again. This is fine. I'm gonna get a box. Should I go for snipe? Go, go, go. Oh, that was such a good throw. Can't mess around. Okay, this is going amazing. Oh! Okay, well that was actually incredible. I hit two of them by making that mistake. So sometimes your mistakes actually help the team, which is very silly, but that was the case in that moment there. Just because I had triples. They have first right now. This is gonna be such a close ending here. 
I got no item. Bam. And I got the trick. I'm just gonna go wide. There goes everything. I'm trying to get as far away from possible as the other racers so I don't get comboed here. Yes! Yes, we got top three, let's go! Oh my gosh, what a riveting race. I had to just go full mental focus on that one. That's such a tough track, especially with the cars and the new drifting style. But look at that, we got top three. We are up by 25, almost got this one wrapped up. They need to get like a top five now. <clears throat> Almost got three for three glitch. Beast. Absolute legend. Do you need to learn the shortcuts to be good? Not really. A lot of the shortcuts, they'll help you save like sometimes a second, sometimes three seconds, but there's always a difficulty level to them. So sometimes going for shortcuts actually makes you do worse. You definitely don't need to learn all the shortcuts to do well. The most important thing is you just learn how the item system works and you learn how to like manipulate the luck in your favor. So you know when to like to stop, to bag, to get a better item, to try to run it to the front. You know where to use your items to take the offer shortcuts. Like it's, it's most important just to understand the item system and use your items effectively more than anything online, more than your lines. Like lines definitely matter, but the items are everything online. I'm just gonna try to get out in front again. I'm really happy with how that last race went. I'm gonna try to get a purple here. Aw, oh, no luck. I'm gonna get a purple here for sure. I still have the purple going. I'm going 103 right now. Aw, oh, just ended, now I'm going 98. So I go 103 with dry bones while in the purple main turbo, which is completely busted. Oh, I just hit my teammate. I'm the worst teammate ever. <laughs> I thought it was 3-4 red team. It was actually only 4 red team. Sorry, Phonics. <clears throat> Good thing it was only a banana, though. He's still right behind me, and we still have top 3. Pez is dominating. Oh, okay, I'm gonna pull this out now. I, I did think it was shortcut, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really did. The me is perfect. So, right me, I'm very impressed. No box. Props to my teammates, both of them evaded starring me, and that was not easy. Oh, I failed it. I was trying to go up top. Oh well, it's fine. We're, we're, we're still gonna win this, because uh, blue team got first. So we're chilling, we're chilling. <laughs> that was fun. I almost got short Kez. A little tough with the mini beast. It's a lot easier with a, a wheelie beforehand. Look at Kez, 50 points and 169 to 123. All right, what format should I do next? Comment below, let me know. I'm curious what you guys wanna see. Also, we still have almost 800 people here and we've been streaming for forever, so thank you guys. All right, let's see here. We were on Goomba, new member. Thank you to Goomba, brand new member. Be sure to join the Discord. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep the same people. Uh, I like to do like a couple rooms with the same group. Um, let's do, should we do carts only again? I don't know. 
I kind of like the light. We'll, we'll, we'll just let people use what they want. Let's do lightweight only. I'm gonna try the standard bike. We're just gonna do a regular VS race. I'm gonna do like, mm, we'll do Baby Luigi standard bike. Look at this combo, it's got everything. None of the stats are bad except the weight stat. Let, let's see how we do. Let's see if we can compete with the mini beast and the bullet bike. I'm curious. Uh, Greyhound, thank you for the $5 donation. Wanted to say thank you for uploading. Sadly, I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa. And I can't play Mario Kart Wii anymore, but love your videos. I, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Well, I'm not stopping Mario Kart Wii anytime soon, so. The videos and the streams are gonna be there for you, but I'm really sorry to hear that. Oh, it's a vision related thing. Ah, oh, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm guessing it like is really straining to play video games. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Goomba, thank you for not only the sub, but thank you for the $5 as well. Hey Troy, first, thank you for being a legend. Your videos have gotten me through so much. Also, have you done a Wii modding tutorial? Um, I did do a tutorial on how to get CTGP. And I think I will do one for Retro Rewind as well. ZPL already has one, but it is outdated now. There's a slightly different version uh, mode on how to get it. Oh. Uh-oh. The game crashed. The game definitely crashed. Let me see. Can I just like boot? Take, let, me, let me see if I can just boot myself. Oh, oh, okay. It, do, it did it for me. Amazing. I was just about to boot myself from the room. Luckily, we're chilling. Everything's good. Just reset, I'm just gonna reset everything. The good thing is, is even though it crashed, it didn't like completely crash the game. It just, it just crashed the room. Yeah, ZPL, when you make the tutorial, it might be a good idea to also show how to get homebrew. Cause you need to get homebrew in order to get Retro Rewind on the Wii and the Wii U, unless you're like playing through Revolution, but I think it would really help just to teach people that. A lot of people are just gonna be watching the how to get video, not having any knowledge or prior experience modding their consoles. So if you include how to get homebrew, then you pretty much walk them through the entire thing and then you get more people joining uh, Retro Worldwides and downloading it. But yeah, like, I'd say the first thing to do when you get Retro Rewind is either to practice the tracks and race the staff ghosts or to go on Grand Prix or VS mode and turn on impossible CPUs and just run through all the tracks and like learn the shortcuts and whatnot. I'm going to be making a shortcut tutorial for all the shortcuts in Retro Rewind. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then that'll make it a lot easier for people to learn them. How active is Mr. Bean in updating CTGP? Uh, CTGP just had an update, actually. It wasn't that long ago. I, I think it was, it was probably like a month ago, maybe less. So yeah, no, it's it still gets updates, like track updates and stuff. My Wii has parental controls blocking internet. Can't you just turn that off? I don't know. I've never had parental controls. Pi, welcome to the room, let's go. We still have five spots. Will you upload your last Clan War video? Wow, you guys have insane memories. Will you upload your last Clan War video on the 10 year anniversary? That is crazy, I, said, I think I said that like a million years ago and you remember that, wow. I do have the footage. I hope the file works. I have, I tried like playing the video and it didn't work, but like I have the file for the clan war. So maybe I, I'm gonna try to convert the file to a different like coding, you know, to, to either like MP4, AVI, maybe, maybe it'll work then. So the answer is maybe. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. Any talk about knockouts coming to Retro Rewind? Great question. The answer is yes. And I'm sure ZPL can elaborate. 
I don't know much about it. I just know that there is something being worked on. We were on Sep here with the five euro donation. Speaking of clan wars, do you still remember Flo? Flo is still around. That is still a clan. I don't know how active they are, but Flo still exists. So of course I remember Flo. I remember watching you since I was four, turning 17, and still have the FW clan tag in my users. I never understood why people impostured being in clans. <laughs> it is so silly, but Kind of funny at the same time. I've ran into people even today that put on the FW tag and they've never been in flow before. Let's see, I think I'm all caught up. JSH Murda with the two pound donation. Yo Troy, do you like any animes? I really haven't seen that many. However, like a year and a half ago, I watched Attack on Titan and I really enjoyed it. I just haven't seen the last season yet. So I still have to watch it, so don't spoil anything. But I've seen the first three seasons and it was phenomenal. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna make it default. I'm gonna actually make this one eight races and we're just gonna do a standard FFA and do no restrictions. And we're just gonna do 150cc and we're just gonna end with this. It's just crazy how fast we can do these rooms. I've done like a million rooms today and worldwide, and it's just been so smooth and seamless aside from that one game crash. Mm, I'm gonna go standard bike with Daisy and see if I can show this thing's potential. This actually is a very good vehicle. Uh oh. It's taken a while. Okay, it worked. I thought it froze. We're good, we're good. We're playing this again? Okay, that's fine, I guess. Oh, Joik is in here. All right. It's always fun to see familiar faces, like people we haven't raced in a while. I wonder if this is the same MK Weaponix that found the Peach Beach glitch. I'm pretty sure it is. Like, he found a lot of shortcuts. The me looks the same. That would be really cool. We know it's not the same shortcut, though. We know that's right, Yumi, trolling everyone. But I will tell you guys this. I helped Shortcat get Retro Rewind on emulator. So if he has Retro Rewind, maybe you'll see him make a video on Retro Rewind in the near future. It's very exciting. You know, if we get more Mario Kart creators playing this, it's gonna put a lot of hype behind the mod and get a lot of people interested. And I do wanna try to get JP Givner interested in this. I did tell him about it last year. So next time I talk to him, I'll tell him about how far this mod's has came because I mean he's he's grinding Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Lounge so I don't know how interested he'll be but it doesn't hurt to try. Well this race has gone so bad. Like oh my gosh. Gotta make sure I get this box. I'm just using this. We're not messing around. Oh it's taking super wide lines. That's not good. This is the widest lines ever. Alright, I mean I'm actually happy to get seventh place, considering the bullet bill was almost slower than Joik's star. It was starting to feel like that. I will take seventh. I'm not doing the best job so far of showcasing how good the standard bike is, but I'm gonna see if I can win this GP. Four hundred CC bullet bike knockout. We can do that. That would be fun. Definitely will consider. I think the four hundred CC format is extremely popular. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention is that five hundred CC is not an option. 
for fun rooms. I'm really hoping in the future it does become one because we would have already done a 500cc room. 500cc would be so much fun. And it would be pretty much the same as 400cc, it's a little bit harder. So I, I really hope that becomes an option in the future. Right now you can only play offline. I'm just gonna go this way because no one goes this way. I'm gonna break. Yeah. I'm very nervous right now. I'm in a very sticky situation. He's just not gonna throw these. Right when I said that, he threw one. Of course. The, the new texture palette on this track is incredible. This track looks glorious now. In fact, it reminds me, I want to actually show off Shroom Ridge, or uh, sorry, Mushroom Bridge. Mushroom Bridge got an update. Okay, so this is one of the rare instances where this thing has the advantage over the Flame Runner. It's, it's, come on. But yeah, I have an acceleration bonus. And it really comes in handy sometimes. I can't risk throwing this. But I will take third. First place just broke away that race. But hey, uh, third place with the standard bike. Damn, I'll take it. <clears throat> ABC bus. Okay. We gotta pick Mushroom Bridge. You guys gotta see how bright and colorful this track is. I think it's like the Mario Kart Tour texture palette or something. <laughs> Two out of five bullet bill. Do better next time. Negative $5 tip. The memes are alive and well, let's go. But look at this. This track looks beautiful now. I think otherwise it plays the same. In fact, let me have some fun and show you guys this little detour. With the item box. Well, that is never worth it, but very funny. Look how bright it is. Yeah, it looks amazing now. Beautiful track. I love this track. The funny thing is, on Mario Kart DS, you could not ride the bridge. Maybe it had, I don't know, they made the track too small or something, but it was, it was really sad. Like, this is like the most fun part of the level, riding the bridge, and they took it out. And that's kind of what made the track so iconic in Double Dash. So I'm really glad we have it in this version, of course. I need to keep this. I think I'm just gonna hold this. It's a pretty good item. Yes, I dodged it. Oh, my efforts were futile. Okay, this thing has a really slender hitbox. I had no business dodging that at all. Super entertaining race right now. Very close. Please don't bump me off, Phonix. Really happy with how I played that one. Like, I played amazing, I dodged everything. I don't know how I didn't hit the car. Some of those interactions could not have gone better, honestly. Yo, Jason North, brand new member joining the channel. Let's go, thank you, Jason. And I will tell everyone once again, be sure to join the Discord server if you are new. Plenty of fun to be had with Mario Kart Wii Retro Rewind. This is just day one of streaming it. I want you guys to 
follow the progression of this mod with me. I feel like it's just at the point now where there's so much, I was like, we have to make a big stream and showcase it all. So if you missed the beginning of the stream, we showed off how they have you know, trophies where you can try to get all 136 trophies for time trials and all of the custom menu options. And there's even impossible CPUs. I even showcased my staff ghost. And I'm picking this drag to see if anyone does the shortcut. If I fall behind, you know I'm gonna be bagging and going for it. Snipe, snipe, snipe. No love. that yeah this thing can handle really well it doesn't have as good of drift as the bullet bike or mock bike or, or even flame runner but it's comparable to the dolphin dasher so it's definitely good enough i wonder if it's better than the dolphin dasher it kind of feels like it is honestly i'd have to really test out a comparison here all right all right i'm gonna get cheeky mushrooms give me mushrooms this will work i think i don't know only time will tell Oh! <laughs> I barely missed it. I needed a little more speed. Okay, I'm not going for that with a star. I need mushrooms. That was funny though. That was really funny. I was kind of a jerk there going backwards to get the item. It looked like I was trolling. I'm sure I confused some people. We got we gotta make the shortcut. It is my mission right now. All right, I need a golden. I'm serious, game, I need a golden! Oh! That sucks. That is painful. At least we were able to grab our mushroom and get back to civilization, because <laughs> my shortcut attempts could not have gone worse. Oh, okay, we're not having quite the car evasion like we had last track. This is pain, this is pain. I'm getting last, second to last. Well, it was fun though. I, I I had fun going for the shortcuts. Maybe I'll get lucky and dodge. Nope. I am going to get tenth though. Ninth, ninth place. Oh, let's go. I'll take it. Definitely deserve last on that one. I wanted to showcase the shortcut. I was so close, so close. Maybe if I spin drifted. With a main turbo, I could have got it with a star, but I feel like the way to do that shortcut is a gold mushroom, no question. All right, the show goes on. What track do we want to play? Hmm. I'll just let the randomizer do its thing. I'm gonna finish this GP and we still have quite a few more races. And then it's gonna be over. I set it to eight races this time instead of four. Oh gosh, let's go. Pop, 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 pop. Just gonna wait. This is the best item. Oh, this track is so goofy. Yes! Ambush! going wide. I don't want to get started. Alright, I'm in first now. I don't know if this is a smart idea. I also don't think I'll be able to front run very long, considering these are flame runners. We'll see, we'll see. This is where I gain my time. When the shock happens, I have that good acceleration. <laughs> really close. The tumbleweed, it always gets you. This is definitely the play. Bagging right here. 100%. I don't want that. 
kind of conflicted on what to do with this. Probably gotta use it. Oh, there's an item up here. Oh, GG's. D triple GG's. I do not know the train patterns, and I am never going for that shortcut again. I've learned my lesson. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'll take fourth, I'll take fourth. I cannot believe I just got fourth. I had triple GG moment, triple squash by the train. It was looking grim, but you never give up in Mario Kart and that is proof we are in third place overall with standard bike and let's go. What tracks have we not played today? I gotta showcase, well, is it gonna randomize or is it gonna pick the track my cursor on? I was trying to pick Lakeside Park, but for some reason when I was on the arrows and I went back to the tracks, it was set to the bottom track. Okay, it randomized. It randomized the worst track, Toad's Turnpike. Oh, this might be a new version though. I don't think I've seen this one. This does look different. Maybe it's just textures, I don't know. We'll find out. Go inside. Yeah, it does feel like a new version. I did manage to get the item box in now. There's just nothing to say on this track. This this is like the track that needs the most help when it comes to like even when they remade this track it's still one of the least popular ones like they remade this track in Mario Kart 8 and still nobody liked it like it needs a massive rehaul I feel like I'm just gonna go for more boxes All right, it's good to use this on the corners. Go a little faster. Going 95, pretty good. Today's my lucky day, guys. Never mind. These cars are too fast. I was gonna be in first. I don't know if I would've won, because I'm definitely not on a front run vehicle. We're still in a good spot, though. We're still in a good spot, for sure. Okay, there was a blue shell anyway. I feel so much better. Double chain. Another blue shell. I, I can't throw this, I just have to play it safe. Go, go, go. <laughs> wow. So, if you're watching this and you're confused on how I got first place, let me teach you. If <laughs> you were in first too early, it is bad. So the strategy there was to hit the car on purpose so I would evade both blue shells. So you guys gotta keep watching to learn the master strategies. It's gonna take a lot of Mario Kart Wii tutorials and streams and <laughs> knockout tournaments to learn the master class gameplay because everyone watching, that was a next level strategy. That one deserves a YouTube short. 99% of Mario Kart players don't know this strategy. <laughs> it's just me hitting the car. I 
I wonder how close I am to winning the GP right now. I, I definitely have a chance. Yeah, 92.34 is really solid. Like, I'm I'm really impressed with this vehicle. I think it's better than the Dolph Basher. I don't know if it's better than the Bullet Bike, but it's comparable. All right, I'm trying to run this up a little bit. I might give up and just use it though. Yeah, seventh place is good. I'll take I'll take seventh. This will last a long time. This should last ten seconds. Also, like I've dodged so many shocks today, it has felt like item rain. Seriously. Oh. Oh. All right. So there is a shortcut. I can use this mushroom on. I just don't really know exactly where it is because this track has the worst barriers. I can, I can never figure it out. I'm gonna go for it anyway. What's the worst that can happen? That, that's the worst. See, you don't even know where the out of bounds is. Like how, how is there one track in the pack that doesn't tell you where the out of bounds is? It's the stupidest thing ever. It drives me insane. Like I know there's a shortcut there. I just don't know where the area is that you can do the shortcut. And it's not like you have to even jump to do the shortcut. You just go through the offer. There's like a secret path there that is, is not out of bounds. It, it's really weird. Instead of it being like a jump over this gap shortcut, like in the original and the DS version, it's, it's just an invisible road that you have to know where it is. I, I, I just have no idea where it is. It's really unfortunate. I shouldn't have even tried it. That is the track in the pack that has the biggest problem. I feel like even in 2009, we were able to establish where off-road is and where out-of-bounds is. Oh, I'm still definitely in it to win it on this GP. We gotta play... I have no time to select my track, so... I... There's only 10 seconds. We need, we need more time. 136 tracks, 10 seconds. Goomba, there's a shortcut there. There's a massive shortcut. You can skip that entire turn. I've done it before. I just don't know exactly where the out of bounds is. There's a massive shortcut, trust me. You, you guys think I'm just drifting into the out of bounds, but like I've done that shortcut many times. I'm sure at least some people in the chat can vouch for me that there's a shortcut there. I know some of you guys have beaten Stack Ghost on CTGP and whatnot. Gotta love a spam shock. Really catches people off guard. Nobody will expect that one. I don't think a single person dodged. Let's go. Well, I'm not super far behind anymore. That's good. That's a great pull. Battling the flame runners right now. They're trying to take me out. They're trying their hardest. Oh, I just gotta dodge two more of those. He's gonna fire all of them at me. We need a blue shell. Oh, or a target shock works, I guess. Cool. The problem is everyone's gonna get big before me and everyone goes faster than me anyway. I'm definitely gonna get destroyed here.
Are you kidding? That was such a depressing race. Oh. oh, it's not looking like I'm gonna win this one. Yeah, okay, I thought there was one more race. You know what though, third place, like third place with standard bike and that is pretty good. It could have been so much worse. And we almost pulled out first place. Just a couple really unfortunate moments there. We, we could have actually won that GP with the standard bike against almost entirely flame runners. So I'm very proud of that. All right, that is it, we're done. Boolean, thank you for the membership. We had over 12 people join. Thank you so much, guys, today. I hope you enjoyed the stream. This was a pretty long one. Oh my gosh, it's late. Wow, it was way longer than I expected to go for. But that really shows when you spend more time playing and less time waiting, it just makes it a lot easier to play this game for a long period of time. Like that flew by. Usually you have to wait just as much as you play. But definitely check out Retro Rewind, link in the description. And ZPL has a great tutorial on his channel. So it's available on Wii, Wii U, emulator, you name it, you can play online. And once again, I'm gonna mention this, Staff Ghosts, it's an incredible system. As you can see here, there's the trophies. Every time you beat a Staff Ghost, you get a trophy, 136 of them total. It just got added, and then he's gonna do the same thing with Grand Prix mode, and be sure to try out Impossible CPUs. It is so much fun. I am gonna upload a video on it very soon. All right, thank you everyone for joining. Good games to everyone who played. Be sure to download Retro Rewind, and stay tuned for more videos. Some with Nicholas on Retro Rewind, coming in the near future. Yes, Flounderfest is back. All right, guys. Peace. Thank you.